everybody. Welcome back. It's a beautiful day here at the Elk Lodge. Before we get started, we want to talk about our sponsor, Hexa Coffee. We're drinking this amazing, delicious blend right now called Inside Voices. Um, but they've got a whole lineup of awesome coffee roasted right in Chicago. Some of it's aged in bourbon barrels, and it has an incredible, rich, bourbony, sexy taste to it. It's so great. Mm. Um, anyways, you can explore all of their mm. roasts, their merch, all the other good stuff they have online. If you just visit them at hexacoffee.com, that's H-E-X-E coffee.com. Check out using promo code ELK and you'll get 10% off your total purchase, which is super duper dandy. Super duper dandy indeed. And today on the show, we have our good friend, Richie the Barber. Uh, Richie is a clown. He's got clown skills. He's got clown hair. And he has clown makeup tattooed on his face permanently. This guy is dedicated. He's a rad guy. Um, I met him. He's Steve-O's barber. Cut Steve-O's hair. So I met him over at the house. And uh, we always just hit it off. We've only had quick little talks here and there. Uh, and I was really excited to get to hang out with him and have him on the show. I was kind of, you kind of spoiled my plan. I, I kind of wanted to not acknowledge any of that. No I'm kidding. But like, even in the show, I was like, we don't want the low hanging fruit. You know, I hope we did a good enough job pushing past the superficial mm. of his exterior style and hopefully cutting to some, some of the nitty gritty. I don't know if I did that. I'm not sure. I we, think we I nailed it a lot on the <laughs> surface. Not, not sure we nailed it. But uh, well, he was you, a, he's a great the, sport, yeah. and uh, you let us know. You be the judges. How we did. Richie's rad. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Richie the Barber. We can agree on that. Richie, welcome. We're already doing it? Already it's it? been going. Oh, yeah. We're halfway through the, uh, the episode. No, we just kind of <laughs> ease into it. I don't know. That's cool. But thanks for coming, dude. Yeah, yeah of course. When we started this, it, you were one person I thought of early on. I was like, man, we should, we'll get Richie sometime, too. Yeah, I feel That'd like be it's rad. been a long time this coming. This guy. Because like, I met you <laughs> peripherally, but we've never really hung out. I always just see you when you come to c cut Steve's hair real quick. But we don't talk. Like barely. We talk one time. Right. We say, oh, no. what's up? You don't talk to your barber? What's wrong with you? Well, he cut my hair once, and that's when we talked the most. Okay, yep. okay. I was so, going to say, are you a monster cool. and I don't know? <laughs> Living with a monster. <laughs> it was on the, the patio. That's why. Yeah. I, this was more like chill. But how, how'd you start? How'd you end up cutting Steve-O's hair? I thought, did he not tell you or what? How that started? Yeah. I don't think so. You guys don't talk about it? No. <laughs> I don't even talk to him. I don't talk to anybody, apparently. You don't talk to him? I don't know. <laughs> no, I just yeah, I talk to him all the time. But no, I don't know the story. What? How do you, how do you guys start? <laughs> it's not that like crazy, but it's, um. remember he had his like Corona hair? He's all the Rona hair. Yeah. So he posted the picture and then I commented. I said, I'm down to cut your hair. And I put a clown emoji and confetti. <laughs> so he... Writes back to me, he goes, you know, like, hey, bro, I'm flying in and I want to get uh, my haircut. How did I not know about you? You're in L.A.? Here's my address. So I was like, what the fuck? Steve will fucking said I'm going to be at his house tomorrow at 4 o'clock. All right, I guess I'm going. Wow. So then when I showed up, I was all scared because, like, it's all quiet. And I'm, like, thinking, is someone going to pop out at me or some <laughs> shit? Are they going to fuck with me? You know what oh, I mean? Like, Because, yeah. you know, like, when, ding, ding, the, the bell. Of course. And I'm looking at the cameras. I'm all, dude, it's too quiet over here. <laughs> right. What the fuck? It's up in the hills. Like, you know. Is an airbag going to hit know, me in the yeah. face when I ring this bell? Like, I don't know. I never met him. Anything right. could happen. Yeah. Steve right. house. Yeah, that's funny. And then, and then I remember, like, it took him 30 minutes to get out of the house. To get out? Like, what do you mean? Like, I was just, like, pressing the doorbell, and oh. he didn't pick up. And then I was like, fuck, do I message him? So I messaged him. Uh -huh. Well, I'm here. So I was in the car, and then after a while, I hear, hey, bro, hey, <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> there he is. And Amazing. He, and then he interviewed me about clowns. So I'm about clowns and circus for, like, like I think almost an hour before I cut his hair. In his boxers. So nice. He has a passion for yeah. clownness and cir and the circus. I mean, he does. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's trained, serious. right? He's a trained circus clown. Yeah. Are you a trained circus clown? I'm not. Like, I'm, do you, but you just, juggle and stuff? No, you I was self-taught. Self-taught. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you juggle? 
Of course. Okay. Of course, of yeah. Course. <laughs> no. I don't know. I well, like, I mean, like, you have to. If you're a clown, you got to juggle. I was going to say, it's if like, we're this committed, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're juggling at or least. Maybe a balloon animal clown, you know? <laughs> Do you make balloon animals? You have to. Do you breathe fire? No. Can you ride a unicycle? Yes, and juggle at the same time. Wow. Can you fit oh, in a car legit. with 20 other people? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> a small one, though. I'll, well, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you, I'm you to have think the of skills. Other, like clown th- activities. There's the bozo buckets. That's what I grew up with. Bozo. Yeah, Spe- but do you know of, about bozo? Speaking of bozo, is, that, is the bucket trick though like something it's not that's a trick, relevant that across everybody? What's the bucket trick? What are we talking about? That's I mean, just a game in arcades. Bozo buckets. We oh. call it bozo buckets, but I think everywhere has it where there's like ten buckets, and like the first one is one point, the second one is farther. That's two with points. a ball that's or, or a coin. What is it? With a ball. a ball. It's like a with carnival ball. game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but, yeah. Being from Chicago, we call it. it was, we call that bozo. That buckets. was like the staple. Yeah. I mean, that, that's a cooler name than the other name, right? Which I, I don't even so. know what it is. Just Buckets? Buckets. Well, Bucket. So what do you know about Bozo the Clown? <laughs> so I get, speaking of steve so I get a FaceTime like late at night. Like, I don't know, well, it was like 12 o'clock and I was driving somewhere. I don't know where I was going. And I'm like, oh, fuck. steve FaceTime me. So I pull over, look at the phone. He goes, hey, bro, look who I'm here with that. And it's David Arquette. And yeah. I haven't seen David Arquette since I was in his circus, uh, Beaster's Madhouse. Oh. At the Roosevelt 10 years ago. I haven't seen him in 10 years. So, and I lost contact with him because he went to rehab and then we, we lost contact. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, who did it come from? <laughs> but yeah. And then so I started, I cut his hair. But, anyways, speaking of Bozo, he bought the rights to Bozo, like a million dollars. David Arquette did. He bought it for a million dollars. It's I like didn't a know franchise. David Arquette was in this. He's this community. Deeply, I guess I didn't. He's either. a clown. He's bozo now. He's no bozo. Idea. Oh my he's, god. He owns the right to be and he's bozo. bozo. He's, he has a bozette, like I, a woman bozo. I, I lost wow. track of him. Yeah, wow. Well, David Arquette, we did a podcast with him. You got David Arquette on here? Not, uh, not on <laughs> not our not show on this one. with Steve. You? Oh yeah, because I liked I liked it when you were there. I was. Yeah, I'm not there. I liked it when, anymore. You were, when they were like going. The cameras were all like it was yeah. you, and then I'm out. I uh, traveled too much. To oh. remain a part of the show oh, because good. I would be, well, it was sort of just obvious to me after a while. I was like, there were podcasts happening and, and they weren't calling me. And I was like, I think I'm off the show. But then we talked oh recently. It was God. like, am I off the show? And I was like, yeah. And it was a nice it's only love. It was like <laughs> super cool. He was like, you're great on the show, right. but the problem is you're sometimes there, sometimes not, and just doesn't so want it to feel like what uh, happened. Like I saw you, I was excited for you. Like all of a sudden you open up for Stevo. Yeah, I don't doing, do that anymore either. Wait, it was. Steve just, uh, he uh, was bringing like jackass people on the road. But why don't you do it anymore? Like for you. He, well, he told me he, it's, the show's just better off when it's just him coming right out. Unless it's like a jackass guy because people go super uh, nuts. For the strength of the show, I'm off the, the But are you doing your own show? Stand up? No. We're going to get him. What, we'll get him what back happened? Up you can't we'll just go from like there. open up for I mean, Steve and then like you're don't right. do it. What? Opening up for Steve was kind of a thing that just, Happened like I was on tour with him yeah, as his editor. He I know, brought me on the road did, to edit. So how does this happen? <laughs> so Scott would open. Have you yeah. met Scott? You know Scott. No. Scott's the other guy. Scott's like Steve's right hand guy. I thought that was the manager. The guy with the white hair comb, yeah. comb over. Is that his manager? <laughs> comb it's over. I don't think you would appreciate that. Is there a guy that's kind of older, white hair with a comb over and a mustache? <laughs> the no, irony. He has scruff. Maybe he, has, he has scruff. Oh, how many uh, Scott? This is Scott. Scott. It's not a comb Scott over. He has does, a beautiful head of hair. Oh, no. Not cool. Maybe it's like is. messy. Sure. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he looks older than he is. He's is only he like 35. He looks like shit. No, just Oh, my God. No, no. no, no. But he, with the gray hair, he carries himself a little bit older than yes. the, uh, carries your himself average older. 35 He wears it well. Um, but, or something. Uh, he's, not, he's not very old. But Scott would open on tour. Steve, okay. Let me take it even back farther. Sorry. <laughs> Steve was going on tour. <laughs> As a comedian, and yeah. when you when you tour in like a local club, they just give you a local opener. Like you don't choose the opener. The club says like we got a local opener, and Steve didn't that. like that because it'd be just some random opener. They're not always yeah. even funny, uh, and like they would talk about whatever. And then Steve comes out and like his show. Did you see his show the other dude, night? Dude, I just want to tell you, as fucking bad. All right, so we'll I'm not talk just about saying that, that just because yeah, we you know. For sure. We'll talk about that show in a second. Genius. <laughs> but so Steve's show is like awesome. It's a hell of a show, right? It's it a fucking fit just anywhere with dying, anything. Dying, so <laughs> then he was like, "Fuck these local openers, Scott. I'm just gonna have you open." 
And so Scott yeah. would open it. Scott hated, <laughs> he's terrified of public speaking. They he'd just threw up, him to the walls. Yeah, he'd go up there and be like, guys, my heart rate right now is like 167. Like he'd be looking at his Fitbit. Like that was kind of his material. That's me yeah. up there. That so then we're that. on tour and then Steve was like, Paul, well, cause Steve has tight, he had tightened up his act and he's like, I feel like the show's too short now. Do you think you could do five minutes before Scott and then Scott will go and then Steve will oh go. Oh my God. And I was like, hell I, yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 fuck yeah. So that night, because it was a two-show night, so he told me after the first show, <laughs> two and shows. then I opened the second show, like you was know, was it better the first time? The second? The, one? No, the like he, he did the first show. I was not the opener. Like the, okay. the tour started, and I wasn't the opener. And okay, then mid-tour, yeah. after one of the shows, he said, "Will you open?" Oh, yeah. And so then I opened the next show, which was like an hour later. Oh, and shit. then it went pretty good. He's I don't a know. brave boy. So and you only was, did it once? No, no, I did it. <laughs> Probably like 40 times or more. Then you got to keep on going. What are you? <laughs> so, yeah. So I did guy. find like a bar around here that I like that has Just open mic night. Just play man. I should. We'll get I should. What are you doing? I you got good doing stuff already. I got a lot of shit I'm doing all the time. You okay. Know? Now your music is very artistic. The, this Thank is you. the real matter, I mean, right? This is, the the, this is at the core of why he's not doing stand up is because he's need prioritizing like, his music. Yeah. But okay. it it is a sort of bullshit excuse to say I don't have time. I could At do an hour of stand up. Week. Yeah, once a what, week. A I could find the time and just keep keep that alive a little bit. Keep that plate spinning. Can you spin plates? Do you do that? Not spin. good. That's but an yeah, old school. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um <laughs> But but anyway, so yeah. So the other night you went to Steve's bucket list show at the Novo, right? It was kind of a a little bit disaster, but it, it turned out Talk good. Talk to me about it. That's the same venue <laughs> that I saw him at here. Uh, no, Steve just did the Novo again. Like, but that's the same place. Two days ago, same theater. Okay, yeah, earlier, same theater. It was a nice theater. It it's was a great nice, theater. Yeah. yeah. It was so what was wrong? What was the shit show? Well, because all right, so he he messaged. You were there, right? When, I was when there the when he gave you the ticket. Yeah. So he told the the person. I don't know. The guy. That was Scott. I told Scott. There you go. Hey, give come mate, over, Scott. Come over, Scott. Give uh, you know Richie tickets, whatever he wants, and I texted him. I was like, and I gave him the names because I wanted to do a double date. My brother, right? Because he really likes Steve O. Of course. You and know. Steve said to you, bring as many people as I only you brought, want. yeah, just my brother and his wife. And then my- Just my for the people listening, you're not like being a dick, like overextending. No, I don't you want know. to He said, that. Like, bring fucking as many people as you he want. He did say that. Yeah. Was, that's very nice and generous. And But I only brought my brother and his girl. It was just a double date. Yeah. So we, I got there first because my brother's um, son had baseball uh, games, so we had to watch it later. So I show up and we got the tickets and then they gave us a hard time to get in. Hmm. The security- <laughs> they were just the Novo like, is security was no like joke. they were just like kind of getting at us. What's in the bag? What's in this? Oh, clown! What's up with clown? And like, look at this clown. This the lady over there was freaking out because she doesn't like clowns. And she goes, Oh hell no! I didn't sign up for this. Oh hell no! And then I was like, Let me just go through, you know. So we, and he's like, No, you got to scare her. I'm like, No, I want to go <laughs> to the theater. I want to get in. They're all, Are you performing? I'm like, No, I'm just I'm watching Siva. So then finally. After the security, you know, wands us down, everything, we get in the line. The line's pretty long. We get there, we get the tickets, but it, they take a long time because there's like cubbies in the back. I don't know. Okay. They look in, envelope, and looking at my ID, looking at me. I'm like, yeah, it's me. And they're like, what? Do you look like this in your ID? Yeah, you want to see it? Yeah. It's, it's funny. My passport's better. <laughs> um, okay, and then, but you finally get the tickets. Okay, but then so we when get your brother tickets. shows no, no, up, no, 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 no. We get, get the tickets, tickets uh-huh. but the tickets, I'm three rows ahead of her. And she's like behind me. Oh, so you guys, we're not, you're not together. Nobody's together. Oh. So I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, she's like, oh, you want to leave? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. We can't leave. Let's just stand up. Look at that. Awesome. Check out my perfect. wallet, dude. It's perfect. Look at that. Yeah, that's cute. I was a nine nine seven. I had a vibe. I was like, I don't have a dog, but fuck, it's so cute. <laughs> you have to get that. Awesome. It's, a, like it's, it. a, it's, a, yeah. it's a strong Decked look. Out. That was good. Look at this young rich. Damn. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so I go back to the ticket place yeah. and I say, Hey, I need, I need to sit next to my lady. And they go, what? I'm like, yeah, I need to sit next to my lady or I'm going to text the person and see what's going on. I'm pissed. And they're like, Oh, hey. so they could put us upstairs. Okay. But my brother's tickets were not together and they just stood the whole time. But then afterwards we came downstairs and then we thought that we were VIP, but we weren't. Oh. Uh. And then so, uh, one of the people that worked there, they recognized me. Scott. No, I don't no, know. No, no. It's, it's like so, anybody's yeah. Scott. So know. someone recognized me and they're like, oh, just let him go through. So cool. we went. And then then I saw Scott. He was passing out books. Okay. Yeah, that, that was 
But the show was fucking yeah, dope. So what did you think yeah. of the show? It was dope. It's, it's a like hell it's of a all show, movie, right? but he's yeah. like, like you know, you saw the show, right? Mm-hmm. So he's just like you know times. talking about it like his own version, and you're picturing in your brain, and you're like, oh fuck, oh shit, now it's gonna happen. I know. Oh damn. Dude. There's a part in the show that's always my favorite to hear when he's. Setting up skyjacking, That's which has like a long setup, and then he's yeah. like, "The build up." So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the crown jewel of my career, and you see everyone realize, like, "Oh my god, we're gonna see it." <laughs> That's you know, and I watch that. I watch the crowd for that moment like every night because I. Oh, love, you watch everybody's faces. Yeah, because oh, I'm like, wow. "Oh my god, like we're gonna fu- like." No, but he actually did it. I know he it's fucking exactly did like it. He said he did it too. Like, it's so great. And I watched Man. him jerk off. I'm like, that's fucking disgusting. But I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, he says this joke after that, but our buddy Tommy was the one who kind of first pointed out, like, not a lot of people can get away with showing that. Like how many celebrities would you pay but, to go see? And they'll show you a video where they jack off. Mike Tyson. I mean, or, I mean, that's fucking <laughs> sick, but, but Mike Tyson. get away with it? Like Hulk Hogan, maybe? Hulk Hogan. I bought that tape. If know. Macho Man was alive, maybe that guy. Maybe, maybe. But not a lot. CKY. Let's get newer. Let's get newer. Louis C.K. Louis C.K., exactly. No, nah, maybe not. Nah. Well, that was, Steve says that joke. He's like, you know, I've heard other comedians getting in trouble for making people watch right. him jack off. But he's, that's his, that's Steve-o though. He's like, but he's so genius because you yeah. can't, you can't put it on, you can't put it on YouTube. You can't put it on, what platform can you put that on? So he's like, fuck it. I'm going to sell the G, what, the G gnarly? He sold gnarly, that on, yeah. he sold that on the it's website. It's gnarly. There's a oh, silent gnarly? G in the oh, word gnarly. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, gnarly. Yeah, gnarly. Yeah. He sold on his Sorry. own, on his own. You can't but, put it anywhere. And then he's like, fuck, I'm going to go on the road. And then that was sick. Kills on the road. Well, because it's a movie. He's very clever. Yeah. It's he like kno- a movie. He does. <laughs> he packages it all well. Yeah. It's like, very complete. Yeah. He's, he's Yo, thought this of show everything. Was, he was cussing people out. Or not cussing people. He was like telling them to like, shut the fuck oh, up. He hates when people talk. But it was funny, stuff. though. Good. I loved it. Good. And he's all, God. Ah. He was like pissed. <laughs> yeah. He's so pissed. I never <gasps> He just, he works so hard, you know. He just wants. But he was he pacing wants. like this. <laughs> it was funny, dude. It was funny. He was pissed. <laughs> dude, he's. I've uh, seen it. I've know, seen it before. He has sometimes uh, yeah. caught someone in the audience filming. Did he jump off the stage? Jump off the stage. No, he didn't. Grab oh, yeah. them, no, drag them uh-huh. out, and then yes, so he delete does. it Are on you your phone. Fucking and serious? then they delete it, and he's like, Go to the recently deleted now and delete it from there. You he know, watch like, it, then do it. Make him delete it and then he throws him out. And what? then everybody oh like applauds. God. Yeah, it's, single-handedly. It's, but if you think about it, this is he, this is his sideshow. If you think uh, oh. the whole thing. Well, you can't like you can't put that anywhere. This is if you for sure. If you like, right. well, I mean, it. he's gonna try and sell it to Netflix and hopefully they'll do this. Sh- they can't show that. It's almost I don't know. Like, I mean, did you watch that new Tommy Lee show? He does show his dick. There's dick in it. But not like, not like, Steve <laughs> has fucking bruised dick, balls. Yeah, everywhere. you're right. And maybe not. It's the next He level made his dick. own jackass. He, dude, he's brilliant. He actually is brilliant. All the stuff he says Jeez. is like fucking crazy. He just had a new book come out yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the man's new book. Bar. He just is unstoppable. I asked him, I was like, hey, Steve, what is this book about? And he goes, wisdom. Wow. Yeah, it is like a self help book. Well, that's funny. cool. I I respect that. He's definitely like. I mean, which he makes like funny and also ridiculous and full of ridiculous stories. But but on a ride. Wait, wait. How did you meet him? So. Oh, this getting good. No, I met him. Well, it is a pretty good story. But I I was working for these guys, the Dudesons. Have you heard of the Dudesons? Those They're are like, like from Finland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's They've like a jackass like, kind of thing. It's like a jackass what, what? thing. They had a YouTube channel uh, and they had like a little production company. They have a big production company in Finland. And you went to Finland? No. They opened a small production company here in LA. Okay. And I worked for them. And I pretty much, like, me and my buddies, my buddy JC, too, who was in my, the music that I make with the that long guy, hair. Dude, you guys, are, you guys are good. Thank you. Team, you guys so me team. and him, we had been friends for years even before that, but we worked together for the Dudesons. Uh, we were just editing all their shit, and they were also trying to sell TV shows. Because that's thought, what they I do in Finland. Have, they produce TV shows. I thought they were going to have one, or they did have one. They're they old. did have an MTV show. They but did, this right? was yeah. after that. Okay. This was like four, did five years Knoxville, ago. Did Knoxville do that shit? Pro- Tremaine, like, yeah, it's the same people that did not did Jackass produce. Dick House thing. Yeah. Yeah. They did the Dudesons show. But yeah. anyway, then yeah. the Dudesons sold their own show, and it was a mountain climbing show in Peru. What and one fuck? of the cast the members Ultimate was- Ultimate Expedition. Yep. Yeah, and one of the cast uh, members was yeah. Steve-O. Oh, really? The show's called The Ultimate Expedition, where it's like mountain climbing with the stars, kind of like- 
every, the goal so is to, to the for top. all these celebrities Steve to get to the climbing? summit of a mountain. Yeah. He did mountain climbing over there? He did it while we were there. He got He's to the top of one mountain. He's literally, you just, you <laughs> did can't. Did he do it naked? You he can't put him naked. in a box. What the fuck? Um, and he didn't have a great time. It's actually in his book. He shits on it a lot, which is pretty funny. Wait, so you met him? How did you meet So him? I met him on that show. Like my job for that show was to put together all this YouTube content that was going to come out okay. with the release of the show. Yeah. So I was working with all the cast to make all these YouTube videos that they like contractually had to make. Yeah. And um, so I met Steve there, had his number. And then eventually I quit working for those guys. And yeah. I just texted him one day and was like, hey, I'm around if you ever need an editor. And he was like, dude, I was saying yesterday, I need an editor. <laughs> that's how we, Come that's over how we tomorrow no, and really? edit. Damn, dude, that's cool. And then, um, yeah, I've just been working for him now for like four years. I used to think you just lived there. A few minor details were left out of that story. So, oh, so at the end of that yeah. trip, yeah. I fell off of a four-story roof. Kind of important part. You fell off a roof. I fell off a roof. We had a wrap party. I wandered up to the roof of the four-story building wrap. Yeah. I mean, I was it, was, it was an open <laughs> bar, so you, you can know. say yeah. that, Richie. I'm a <laughs> I, I don't remember any of this, no. but I just woke up on the ground and it was like I broke fucking everything. I was in a hospital oh, you in broke, Peru for like three weeks. You broke uh, your you almost died. I broke my arm, my leg, my ribs. His I ribs both almost of my punctured lungs. a heart. His one heart, of my lungs collapsed. You almost, you almost died. Yeah, yeah. I almost died. And so that oh, sort of also. Shit, dude. Like when you fall, did you almost like. Like, did you pass out when you fell? I think so, yeah. I think your body just shuts down, right? Yeah, it did. It just shut down. Because <laughs> you're like, fuck. Then I woke up in the morning on the ground because nobody knew I fell. Nobody knew. Oh. They just assumed, oh, Paul, like Irish goodbye. He must have just gone back to the hotel. Wait, you woke up? The next morning, they were like, wait, where's Paul? He never came back to the hotel. Like, you passed out overnight? Yeah, I fell asleep. Like, <laughs> or I fell <laughs> off the roof at what? night at like two in the morning. And then I woke up there at like nine in the morning. He's probably. Like, uh, and then. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, your body. exactly. No, he was really Did hot. Did you know what happened? I mean, I looked up and there was this big wall. You were drunk as and hell. And I sort of figured out that I must have fallen off of this wall. But you're wasted still. Are you still drunk? I mean, I don't know. I think that's a pretty sobering moment, I would say. Yeah, I don't know. There was no blood But no, you did test. say you were kind of hungover because you were so hot because at Peru, in, in the desert, you know how it gets all... Oh, my God. It's hot all day, but then at night, it's like dangerously cold. <clears> and it was like <throat> that. He had a big parka on from the night before, and then all of a sudden, the sun's shining down on him. I'm so scorching. thirsty. I tried to drink my own pee. <laughs> oh, my God. How and long were you waiting they there? They found me at like 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> You're all, I'll drink that's it. That's a like long a day. Fun. Yeah. It that's was a, like, wait. that's a bad hangover. It was a hell of a day. You're like, you're, oh, my God. And that was that's the stand up. I, I would tell that story as my stand up. That's a good one. I would cry laughing. Yeah. No offense. Sorry. No, no, I, but it was I, also I mean, part of the bond profound. that oh I think God. led you to Steve, too, was because that was one of the things he was like. You know, so dude, did you tell Steve you're gnarlier story. than I'll ever be. Like, yeah, he knew about the story. Like, every because everyone in production was told, like, oh, by the way, like, Paul, remember that guy Paul from the production <laughs> <laughs> fell off a fucking roof two nights ago, yeah, and yeah. he's in the hospital now. Oh, like, as shit. they're like flying home to LA or whatever. Damn, that's crazy. But yeah, then Steve texted me while I was in the hospital. He was super cool. He was like, dude, you're like a gnarlier stunt man than I'll ever be. You what know, the it was fuck? like, Sweet. <laughs> I was tight. but and it was cool too because. Then I met up with him when I got back because the show still had to come out and I still had to work with everyone to get these videos out. Uh, yeah. And I was like, man, I'm like, you know, I was like, I'm kind of embarrassed. You know, like I fell off this roof. I created all this. And he was like, what? Like, who said that? Steve. Oh, yeah. He's like embarrassed. Like, because to him, like, that's it's dope. Like, he's, like, you know, he's like, that's awesome. He's like, jumping off shit all the time. I don't know what you're embarrassed it's about, you know? So, yeah. That, <clears> so that also make a made video me feel about good. all those injuries you got. But yeah. So that's how I met Steve. Did you have a video of it? No, there's no yeah. footage of oh, it. There's like some man. key photos along the way. There's though. photos of like my whole hospital, and there's videos of like my whole. At hospital At least you didn't stay. fucking have your arm stuck in a big rock, and you had to cut it yeah. off. And then, yeah, <laughs> this was no, like my a James Franco twenty-seven. This was my James Franco day. Yeah, yeah, and thank I God. I mean, with, the, with the butter knife, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would suck so bad. No, for me, it was just trying to get my jacket off because I had this hot jacket, but my arm was so broken. They're broken. I couldn't get my jacket off. Like I was I, stuck in this huge. So how? Puffy bad were you in pain like i mean it was pretty bad but yeah. i woke up in it you know like if i just snapped my arm right now it hurt a lot but if you woke up and your arm was snapped it would hurt but yeah, it's like can't it's move not it. that moment of like <clears throat> I, I thought i just dislocated it i didn't really realize i'll show you the x-rays oh no i don't oh. it's pretty it was pretty heavy like my bones just phone. straight yeah like, you oh, pretty much. God. He was very lucky to be with uh, friends who knew him well enough to say this is unlike. Three hours later, this is unlike Paul to just completely disappear and not be heard from, not show up to work the next day. Oh man! You know, and that you guys, was my buddy JC. Yeah. 
He's he was the guy. My buddy Jason saved your life. He yeah. was the one he who said like, like guys, saved. Paul is not. Damn, this is not normal. You we need died. to find him. I would have died. He would have died. And him, saved my life. him and his sisters, they're kind of they they do pride themselves. I feel like on intuition and like oh, their really? spidey sense, the little. Yeah, but that's a bunch of bullshit. But yeah. I'm just saying, he just paid kidding. attention. He knew there's, something so was wrong. It's not, oh, it wasn't fuck. bullshit then. It just broke. Just snapped. And then there's my leg. Oh, that was <laughs> worse. Dude, you can't walk on that. No. There's no way. Do you know what's wild, though? When he had the surgery to fix it, he was walking on it that day. No. They put a rod in, uh, in my leg. Can you believe and in my that? Arm. They just put a rod in it. And you, you could kind of walk Go on ahead. It. You've got a rod. You're fine. Because the rod that was holding it That seems insane to me. Fuck that, dude. I feel like I'd be nursing I mean, it longer a, than a day. It was, it's not like I ran a marathon the next sure. day. I could, but just the idea that I could put any weight on it was That's what I mean. It's yeah. like pretty remarkable how'd, that that's possible. How you guys meet? Are you guys married? No, Someone, we're engaged. We're though. fake I married. Just, I don't know. I don't fake know. Fake married. We're yeah. fake married. We've been. I've been throwing wife around here and there. Yeah. Oh damn. But um, <laughs> well, because we don't know when we're gonna do an actual wedding. It's like, hey, can, I just, can we just stop uh, saying fiance all the time? I keep giving him a ring to wear on his finger. I'm like, people are gonna see it. pictures. No, he oh, does. He's it. been wearing them. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Wearing um, but we met. We grew up together. We met in third grade. Third grade. When she moved to my school. Wow. And so here's another oh part of the story. I had a crush on her my whole life. Your whole life. Since the day I met her in third grade. Okay. And then I fell off this roof. Yeah. And I'm laying there and I'm like, dude, come on. Stop. Fuck, get out of here. Die. Like you never even told Christine how you feel about her. Because we were still friends. And oh, that was something that I thought about too. And the next time I saw her. You told her. I told her. And then we smooched. And then here we are. You're like, baby, I'm, I almost died. I love you. It's pretty endearing. And this, yeah. It was, I mean, was it good. wasn't quite that. But it was, I mean, it was a lot of implied at the very least. It was good. I don't think there was anything implied. Yeah, it worked. It worked out. <laughs> oh my god! Whatever happened worked out. So anyway, uh, yeah. That's uh. So it was a profound day that that fall. You almost died. <laughs> almost died. You almost died right now. <laughs> you know, you know. Um. Okay, so back to you. Uh -oh. do you. Do you just go like you just wing it, huh? Oh yeah. That's good. Let's just, just wing it. Yeah, we like to try to forget that we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Some people have like questions, like. So many questions. I'm like, oh, what are you going to answer that? What the well, I? I got a question I've been actually thinking. When did you <clears throat> yeah. start tattooing your face like a clown? That was like, so probably 24, the age 24, 25. How old do you know? I'm 37. I just turned 37. Okay, so 12 years ago-ish. Yeah. 12 years ago. I mean, it was a gradual step, you know. What was the first step? <clears throat> the nose. Just the red nose. I was like, I want, a, I want a red nose. And then the girl, of course, the girl that I was dating at the time, was like, don't tattoo your face. It's already good. Because I had like a bunch all around me, like mm -hmm. tattoos. Oh, you had face tattoos, but they weren't clown makeup. No. Right. They were just like, I call them little lucky charms things. Mm -hmm. you know? But um, then I was like, I want a red charms. nose. I want, I, want, I won't regret that. No. I'm already juggling. I'm a fucking clown as it is already. You know? Clown so for I, life. Yeah. So I got the nose. After that, I got these little like dots right here, little like confetti dots. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was like, Fuck, I want a smile tattoo on me. Like, I want a smile one. So I call my buddy, his name is Dick, D I K. Okay. And I'm like, dude, we tattoo, because he likes clowns too. I'm like, we tattoo a smile on me. He's like, fuck yeah, I'll do it today. Come on down. I got the 40s. I'm like, hell yeah. So we just drank. Probably was a bad idea. <laughs> <coughs> but I was like, yeah, we just drank in 40s in his, his friend's kitchen on the floor. Just hold still, tattoo my face. And then oh after that, I went to the bar, our local bar, and he's like, Chuck, what I fucking did to this guy. Yeah, he's a tattoo clown for life. And he's hit me. Yeah, my my face is like, yeah. That's, that, that was the eyebrows. Okay. And then. And they're like. Uh, no, nothing was there. It was just, I just tattooed him. So I shaved my eyebrows off, and I just tattooed the red. The, you ah. know? And then I was like. Maybe just because it's shaved that you, I noticed the shape of your skull more. It almost no, no, looks this like, is a, 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 There is something added to There's implants, it. yeah. There's an implant. Yeah, yeah implants. Okay. Silicon implants. But that was later. That was later. So I, I did see, the I eyebrows see. and then I was like, fuck, this doesn't look good. Like, complete. And I did blue. The blue, blue was like the final, like. Well, I already had like blue cake. roses. Okay. So yeah. I was like, fuck, might as well do blue all. Just blue out the whole face. And that was. The big step. Everybody so like, I'm gonna it's go out on a limb. Is that girlfriend a ex girlfriend? Oh yeah, now? of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl I got right now, she's pretty cool. Nice. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you? Is she do you also regret tatted? It. Regret what? The, having your face all tattooed? No, this is my lifestyle. This is what? Because everybody's like, do you regret it? Da, da, da. I'm like, no. This is what. This is my life. This is what. And I you kind of you don't notice it that much after a while. I mean, even talking Me? to you, sitting uh, here talking to you, for sure. <laughs> oh, what's you that? probably. Me. Right. I mean, do you forget sometimes? Like. Yeah, I do. 
And you're like, why is that person looking <clears> at me? I forget all the time. I'm so comfortable, like, right. who I am. Sure. There's like, I'm like, oh, I'm a, oh yeah, I'm a clown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a clown. Or like, <laughs> I'm a clown. They go, why? <laughs> You're like, what's up with that? Like, wow. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm a clown. Yeah, I, like, what do you do? I'm like, I'm a clown. <laughs> I'm a clown. And they're like, what? That's it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, like, is your girlfriend tattooed as well? No, 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 no tattoos. Oh, no, she tattooed. Yeah, yeah, she tattooed. I thought you said the face. Sorry, oh. all, there, people are always asking me like, she tattooed. Right, like to you, like this shit doesn't even count. This, no, these, are, like, these, are, these aren't even the, tattoos. What's up about the face? Yeah. Yeah. No, she's, she's so. tatted. Like she's tatted like the, the sexy kind of her legs and her arms a little bit, but not like she's not like super super tatted, but she's tatted. Yeah. Right on. You take the cake for sure. Are you like ever like? Posing in things, you know, like there's that like lizard man who like turned himself into a lizard. Like, oh, yeah, do you get invited to shit like man. that? Like Ripley's, yeah, believe yeah. it or not. I am in Ripley's. You're yeah. in Ripley's. And I'm in Ripley's for, believe it or not, the most by or the only person in the world to be transformed as a clown and living as a clown. So permanent clown, permanent clown. That's what it says. Yeah. So like I'm registered through Ripley's, believe it or not, 2018. I think it's twenty ten. Yeah, the first and only. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's permanent. No, clown. there's there's a there's a guy who just did it. I think recently. Did he like reach out to you? Or are you like, no, you're like probably, the Tony Hawk of Not to be a total Tony dick, Hawk, but do you, do you use different to, pronouns? I'm, I mean. I'm a dick about being a clown. I'm like, yo, if you if you don't do some shit, you ain't a clown. Mm, like, like tricks, like juggling. You can paint your face, you can tattoo it, but you ain't no clown. I feel, I respect that. So that's just me though. Like you have to, you have to do stuff. At least juggle. You have to at least do some magic tricks or, you know, you, you got to perform a little bit. You have to be a performer. Don't just, yeah. don't just look. Yeah. It's yeah. like dressing yeah. like a skateboarder, but you can't do a kickflip. Right. Exactly. There you so go. you're not a skateboarder. Don't be a poser. Don't, don't, be, don't be a poser. Don't be a poser. Yeah. Yeah. poser. Yeah. There you go. So you sort of regulate the clowns. Do you, do you have beef with other clowns like that? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're just like, you're not a, no, he doesn't juggle or what? No, because he was, he was fucking with me. He was, he was trying to take my, my parade and it's like, dude, like he'll. When you know we got territorial, we had like an interview with everybody, and then um, he just went over me like when it was my turn. Mm -hmm. We're going around the table, and he just like, you know, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, you want to do like that? Okay, cool. You want to take the the show? <laughs> so he was just, and he talks shit all the time. Uh -huh. He still talks shit. So okay, so you have beef. You have a nemesis, a clown nemesis. No, nah, I mean it's just. That feels Whatever. I yeah, I prefer it that way. That's yeah. great. What about ICP fans? Do you, do you get along with brutal. them? They're brutal. They're brutal. Yeah, they're they're like aggressive. A lot of them. Do they like you or they don't like you? I think both. Because you're not just you're not one of their <clears throat> brethren, but you're like a cousin. If I don't say I like them, they're pissed. Oh, mm. right. And they I really expect I, you to be on this. Yeah, side. yeah. That's how I got onto uh, No Jumper because he was interviewing ICP and he was telling them, "Do you know about?" Richie the barber, he or this barber that touched his face as a clown. What do you think about that? And then they were talking. And then I went on the show, and then mm -hmm. yeah, the whole thing. I didn't hear about mm -hmm. all that, but that's funny. So ICP, like, were they talking shit about you, or had they just not? No, they, they, just, they really just said, cool. I've met nah, them. They they're, just said they just don't know me. Yeah, they're like, I don't know. Gotcha. But, I've yeah. met them. They're they're awesome. They're really cool. They're so yeah. cool, actually. Yeah, like really nice guys. I would, wait, actually, Steve performed there. Steve yeah, I didn't go with, but he oh, performed at the gallery. He like went, hosted a that's stage. That's what I'm saying. That's sick. That's and he showed great. everyone his butthole. That's great. Yeah, they loved it. <laughs> they loved it. Because it's like an ICP <laughs> thing to yell, like, show us your butthole. They say it a lot. Is it really? Like the like the fans do, yeah. <laughs> they say show, they want to see buttholes. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if it's just like a funny thing they yell or if they really want to see They have them. a whole language almost, kind of. Yeah, like, you know, they, they do. Go, whoop, whoop, they got a call. For sure, they got a call. They got, they're registered from the FBI. Uh-huh, they're registered Again. as a gang. For By real, official, yeah. and they love it, and their merch is like fucking unreal. They're 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 pretty. Okay, rad. you mentioned your brother. What about parents? How do they feel about the parents. transition? Oh, oh, she wants to. Get, uh, yeah, of course. Shocking, shocking. Have course. they accepted over time? Yeah, yeah, of course. They're yeah, good. Normal. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like my sister's like freaks out if. Her kid has a new scar, you know, so uh, I could imagine as like a mom or a dad, it would be, I remember, like, you might my dad, feel like he ownership me, like, in a weird uh, way or like something. <clears throat> I think it's natural for a parent to have a reaction. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. Course, you've earned a reaction. Yeah, you've earned, you've that's certainly what earned I a reaction. Mean. Which yeah. I mean, par partially that's probably what you're going for a little bit, right? It's like, Why? do you like that it's shocking sort of? Yeah, I love it. Right? I love changing people's perspectives. Like, yeah. what the fuck is that? I'm like. I just love it. It's yeah. my thing. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's like a, we had a friend in here. She yeah. does a lot of face paint, like, you know, like she cool does. face paints and yeah, stuff. Yeah, cool, yeah. And she'll like get all painted and then kind of forget she's wearing it and just go out and like just be out and people kind of look. She's like, it's kind of cool. It gives them like a, 
it's cool to give people this like you almost jog their reality it's like for break a second. the ice and you really know who people are who they are right how they are with it's either black or white kind of thing they're a little bit in between but not really mm-hmm. you know they'll just I'll know right away like if they like me or not do you uh, scare people ever of course I mean not on purpose I'm not right. I'm not trying to be like ah you know? how often are people though like all every day yeah, I really thought you were gonna time. like show up at the door and just like not knock but just like have your face right there <laughs> we're like, sometimes yeah. I think he's outside yeah. that would be creepy like window. right there yeah. like fuck he's here what the hell <laughs> No, um, I try to be nice. I'm not trying to be mean. No, of course. JK. No, no. Back in the days, I was like that. Like when I, for, <laughs> what I mean, you like used it as a sort of a. No, nah, because you know, well, drinking people and stuff. piss you off or something. Boo! Like you know, you just oh, kind of yeah. step on them. I can oh, see like it. Jump scares. <clears throat> jump scare them. I would do stupid stuff when I'm drinking. You know, just go around town and yeah, scare people sometimes. Yeah. That's fun though. I mean, it was at the time. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. It sounds fun now. Maybe we'll go after this. We'll no, find <laughs> let's go. Just go streaking. So, do you find you have to kind of like, or do you enjoy if you meet someone who's like really almost like scared of you when they first yeah. meet you? Maybe they assume you're like a murderer, you know? Like, yeah. and do you do you enjoy that? Like, once they like as they see you, like you're actually kind of nice and kind. Yeah, it's great. And like you yeah. can kind of like talk them they down, down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good. But if they're a dick, then I'm just like whatever. I don't want to talk. Yeah, to it is. It's kind of an interesting way to filter people in a hurry. Yeah, like, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I mean, it's been so many years now that like I'm, I already know what's kind of gonna happen. It's the same, I guess. What about meeting <clears throat> like parents of girlfriends? Yeah, this one that, I was nervous about this one, but it was totally fine. It was cool actually. Sure. Everybody's yeah. I guess because people do their homework, <clears throat> do their homework before they you can see things on the so internet. They know you know how it is. People check things on how they are, and okay, and then when they meet them, they're like, okay, he's cool or he's not. You know. Hmm. So they knew what was walking in. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, man. I mean, it's like <laughs> admirable. You know? Or maybe they're just nice that that time, but we'll see what, maybe our next right, time. Right, when you leave. Like, no, what it is, um, I don't know. <clears throat> I like shy away from like situations where I feel judged. So I can, I do think it's admirable to be like, this is who I am, who I want to be. And not care, like you know, just yeah. to, she doesn't to like if I walk minute. outside barefoot. If we're like walking in public, <laughs> oh my God. Barefoot, thumbs up. she's like, okay, you're <laughs> yeah. embarrassed. You know, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, like no. I feel I'm like breaking feel, the rules, and she feels the, the really. It's, yeah, it's like I feel conditioned to a lot of things that yeah. I I don't really think mean much to me, but I still subscribe, and I don't know what oh. that's about, really. So I do commend you. And I'm the opposite. I love the idea of someone getting like mad at my bare feet, you know. Not what her, the, like, I, I, I like, 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 oh, like how dare he walk through Glendale I mean, don't downtown get me wrong. Barefoot. I like to break the rules he too. Jesus, Jesus. But I do it. <laughs> I'm this guy. No. I'm this guy. I just have yeah. a different way of breaking rules, Let me try I this. think. Yeah, try the bread. Yeah, please the, do. These pieces I kind of, kind of dried out, but. Uh, That's all good. It's a little crunchy, it's our first but bread. it's good. It's your first bread you made? Yeah, yeah like a friend. Our friend who's actually was on the last episode. Her name is Raven. She. Who did already one before? For me? Not no, today. Not That's yesterday. Cool. Yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, I don't know. How often do you film? Well, it's been few and far between lately because I was touring so much, but now I'm home for a good chunk because we're trying to film as much as we can. Yeah. But one comes out a week. Uh, so if we can film two or one a week, then we're sitting pretty good. good do you post like a, a video teaser on Instagram? We, we sure do. I just want to see a little bit. So yeah, just say, do you want to uh, like, what do you want your bit to be? You want to yeah, do no, something to thing. say? We'll do you, do you want balls? I can, I can give you something to juggle. <laughs> Whatever you want. It's your moment to shine. Damn, she's calling me out. So where are your stuff at? <laughs> yeah, where's your trick? Do you know yeah. any like card tricks or anything? No. Well, I don't know my cards. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's okay. You don't have to dance, I wasn't, I'm not going to make you do spot. a trick, yeah. I'm just curious, though. Um, do some tricks, clown. So, <laughs> what about <laughs> barbering? Yeah. You know, because when when you gave me your Instagram title, it says Richie the Barber. Yeah, it's mine. But, like, not mm-hmm. Richie, like, the clown-looking guy. It was, like, barber. Like, the most kind I was of... was barber first, and then a clown later. <laughs> so you were a barber first. <laughs> so I was like, I can't change my name. So, so when did you get into cutting hair? That was, uh, I mean, when I was, you know, out of high school, that's when I got my license. I went to college for, for a cut, you know, cutting hair. My family was barber, so I was oh, cool. doing that. Yeah. But I try, I mean, I tried so many things, you know, like all kinds of jobs I had before barbering. And I was like, fuck this. I'm just going to do it. I almost joined the Navy. Wow. I get it passed. I'm not that smart. <laughs> so, but that's probably good that I didn't join the Navy. For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. I mean, you would, 
I wouldn't be who I am today. <laughs> they would make you cut your hair at least. Yeah, I'd probably shave my head. Yeah. Did you grow up out here? No, Orange County. So I'm back in Orange County right now. Okay. Yeah. I'd say that still counts in my mind. That's out here. You're you're well, LA I mean, guy. You're Cal- Southern I lived, California guy. I lived in in LA for ten years, like on Hollywood, like mm. in this crazy house. I lived there, and it was. I mean, it was definitely an experience living in LA. It was cool. But then when the COVID happened, or like all the the looting. Mm-hmm. They looted the barbershop downtown, and then I was like, mm-hmm. "Fuck this! I'm going back to Orange County because everything was open." Yeah. So re- yeah, they did not give yeah. a fuck about mask mandates down but there. But it fucked up everything because I lost my clientele from LA. So from going to Orange County, and then it's like, damn. Then you got to rebuild. It's like constant rebuilding. It's horrible. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, because LA is like a a place that's kind of welcoming to like characters of all kinds versus For me, like it is, small town I Iowa tourists. or something. I had so many tourists come in there to visit. Oh like, yeah. Like I was a tourist. You're an attraction. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'll see the clown. Yeah. But it's interesting because I, I mean, I think a lot of people's hesitation to get tattoos in general is like, what about work? But if you already know you're, what you're doing, you're comfortable like in your career, it kind of yeah. takes the pressure off of like, yeah, I don't care if I have tattoos. Yeah. I mean, it's so much more acceptable now. If I think oh, when we sure. were kids, like oh, yeah. someone at a bank, they would never have a tattoo. Like a bank. Yeah. But now like someone bank, like, yeah. can, like, can, like <laughs> you face tattoos. You straight from the bank, girl. Like, yeah, nobody like, had the bank. The head, you know, like, the head of like, school has a tattoo. Like right. everybody's like, your got tattoos. Nurse, gangster. Your doctor might have a right. tattoo. Like, right. It's, it's super. They didn't have a bank account. They're just cash. <laughs> Vandalism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just there causing trouble loitering. Um, so what have I mean? It's been what two years now. You're down there. Things are have picked back up. Picked no, back up. You found no, clients. No. No, because it, no. it's hard out there. Yeah. Yeah. So you're still driving to LA? Do you, like, I mean, you're still no, st- cutting it, Steve's hair. Yeah, I still cutting Steve's hair. I, I go. I'm driving all the time. Mm-hmm. Cutting people's hair. But I was I was trying to be um, an instructor for Paul Mitchell, so I was working at Paul Mitchell, and that is. Very, you gotta have a lot of patience for that. It was very difficult. For teaching. Yeah, it was difficult. But those kids, man, they were fighting all the time. And, you know, I got in a fight with one of the kids. And wow. I, I got fired. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like the kid was like giving you shit, just like a t- oh, typical, yeah. like bad kid. Well, he, this kid fought another student. And then I drove up and then he started talking shit to me. And I was like, Are you fucking talking to me? What? He's a little scrying guy. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, why'd you clock me out? I'm like, I just got here. I'm eating my tacos, bro. <laughs> and he goes, no, you clocked me out uh, two days ago, Mom, because I'm your fucking teacher and I can do what I want. And you're the student. You got to listen to what I say. And he goes, what? And so then I just fucking, I just pushed him because he kind of like squared up to me. And so I just launched him. And I was like, oh, fuck. I feel, feel bad about <laughs> that. Yeah. that. And then everybody saw, like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. Uh, like everybody's filming. You know, no, no, then everybody rolled up. It was on, yeah. on the roof of the parking lot. Uh, oh, yeah. So then, the <laughs> at least you didn't push him off the parking lot. That then he would been die. Worse. Then yeah, I'd be yeah, the been clown worse. that killed people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then that would be. <laughs> that would have been like we would have had to call Guinness on your behalf and First like, guy revision. Tattoo his face and go to jail <laughs> for murder. No, that was John Gacy. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, he's the killed. clown murderer. Yeah, he's clown murderer. Yeah. Do you have a favorite clown? I like J.B. Patches. He died, but he gave most of his money to... I mean, he died old age, but he gave a lot of his money to, like, the Children's Hospital, and he, and he helped out the kids and stuff like that. And, and who is he? Like, uh, what? He was a clown. He was, a, he was like, kind of Pee Wee Herman, but okay. he, had, he had his own show, too. Yeah, it was weird, yeah. It was pretty cool. J.B. Patches. And were you watching him, like, as a kid? Like, when no, did you get no. into the clown? I got into clown because I saw the circus. My grandma yeah. took me to the circus, and I was like, oh, shit, you know? Kind of just watching Steve-O, like, oh, shit. Uh-huh. And I saw a clown. I liked the the aspect of like, you know, you can be silly, gilly, witty, and he didn't care. He didn't care if people laugh at him. So I like that part, you know, and all the stuff that he was performing, Mm -hmm. juggling really, you know, got me going. Juggling, I was like, I want to juggle uh, clubs, you know? So, Mm. yeah. I have some circus experience in my past as well. Oh, really? You might not know it by looking at me. You're you're uh, in the closet clown. She <laughs> <laughs> did tricks with the horses. No, no I just helped you... organize some circus events for That's the cool. Zope Family Circus for a while. Oh yeah. Like they toured and then they would come to a venue that I worked for. Oh, that's cool. That's sick. Yeah. Have you heard of the Zope family circus? No. Okay. They were cool I didn't though. Know, like, it's like an old charm like Italian yeah. circus and that's they've been like be circus performers for generations. And ah. that's actually, I think the only real encounter with circus I've ever had. I just been to the circus Vargas recently and that was blew my mind. What is that? Circus Vargas is a circus. They tour too, but like it's a family, like you said, 
family circus, mm-hmm. like like literally mm-hmm. like the family, the family of five, and they all do crazy shit. It's so like, cool. Is no nuts. They're juggling in between. If Steve saw that, he'd be like, "What the fuck?" Like, wow. <laughs> and these guys would crazy. like have kids, and then the kids yeah. would be like involved right away. Like before <clears throat> they could walk, they're like standing on one hand, Damn. like doing yeah. crazy shit. You yeah. Know? pretty cool the uh that what's that like spinning yeah. wheel thing where like someone's they did that one? there they did that there that shit the is two so guys, crazy those two guys did that yeah it's it nuts i've never been to cirque de soleil have you yeah is that I actually super haven't rad? Seen i feel like that's show once. is that not like the t- i think top circus tier vargas of? was badass wow dude i it blew my mind cool it circus blew, vargas i was like fuck and they're on tour or they have like a place they in just LA? they just did their last show in, in um the states and they're gonna go out of the country but they're gonna come back again Cool. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Well, one of the clowns messaged me, DM me, and they're like, you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, can I bring the family? And he's like, yeah. So I brought my lady and her kids. They've never been to the circus. I was like, what? You can't date me, baby, and <laughs> yeah. not go to the circus. We have our own circus, but we got to, you know? Yeah. And she goes, okay. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And it's that's, cool. You know, the spectacle is awesome. It's good she to cried. Like, we get all cried lost in it. In it. Wow. Well, because at the end, they're like kind of saying goodbye to you. Oh. And it was like, because... There, the whole, it was a story, you know. Yeah. Hop on the the Circus Vargas train, so they had a big train, ding ding, you know. And they got to get off the train. Then they got to go, got to go back home. So mm. I was like, damn. Wow. Clowns are leaving too. You Moving know? experience. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. It was a good show. Shit. Man, that's pretty rad. And then you have like a uh, merch and shit. You, yeah. you gave me a. Hair I gave you pomade. Thing. Oh, I did. I didn't give you a shirt. Dude, no. Steve has been wearing my shirt like crazy. Uh, yeah, he he wears your shirt all the time. I'm like, do you want a new one? He's like, no, nah, man. I'm like an old fucking. So I'm like, okay, cool. You're yeah. a good Steve-o. Yeah, people say I sound like Steve-o, and I'm like, no, I don't think so. He has his own thing. They think just naturally you sound like Steve-o. Well, every time doing the impression, I do. I do live. No, they say I do a good Steve-o impression yeah, for sure. Yeah, but like, um, they're like, you sound like Steve-o. I'm like, no, I don't. So, yeah, but. That every time I go live or do, um, I can hear or, it. Yeah, but he's got his own, you know, he's got his own yeah. thing. Yeah, well, that's because of the vomit, right? That because you know, no, we did a whole video about it. Why my you, voice yeah. is so messed up. <laughs> that's good. And we went through like the sort of years of how his voice has changed over the years. And then he went to a throat, like, no way, and throat doctor. That's badass. And the guy looked at his thing and told him that, like, he just talks shitty like he just he he uses the wrong muscles like he uses the muscles are you in serious to try and talk if he just would relax he would he can't relax he would talk normal. but yeah he, he just has bad habits of he talking. thinks so he's a fucking genius he just yeah. thinks all the time and I like know. and he's he so found the about perfect about wife to like yeah she's down to, to be like okay yeah <laughs> sometimes oh, she's yeah, not happy about him getting uh, tits i'll tell you that oh he wants tits <laughs> <laughs> I, I, is he getting that tattoo of the dick or on his I think so he's yeah. probably dead. I think he's gonna do that and he's gonna get tits that's he's like gonna, his next show after he sells the bucket list and then his next show is a tour I'm not of like his spe- tits? he's talked about this publicly but yeah his oh. next show is called the Gone Too Far tour I like that and he's gonna get tits and he's gonna get a dick on his face and I like that few but things. you know what too is like <laughs> he can pull it off like yeah you know, he's probably gonna do a what a, a photo shoot probably for sure I was like, like dude if you can get it in Playboy or something like, he probably or, like what if you can get in like Hustler or something I like think some he, kind of spread a well, centerfold well he know? already tucks it you yeah. know he's a, he, he tucks it tuck good it. he tucks it real good and he hops when he does it it's, yeah you know now he can do the titties with it with tits yeah it's like all I mean, his famous it. stunts with tits, yeah. And it's, it's 2022, 2023, he should probably do it, right? He could have a segment that's called, like, It's Just Better With Tits. And just do, like, all his famous bits, but redo them now, like, with tits. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. You're better right. With tits. More Better with tits. <laughs> that's, that's actually not and bad. Then he's I gonna just thought about that. Start the petition. Well, you know him. You I'll fucking tell him. Tell him. I'll like, tell him. You're, the, you're the best. Yeah, you, you never know. Who doesn't like tits, though? <laughs> uh, I mean, there you go. There's all this, like, Free the Nipple. Like yeah, he he course. probably does a jog the nipple. He's he's genius. He should do it. So yeah. she doesn't want him to do it. No, that's the one. She's like, I'm, I'm, while you have them, I'll be on vacation. And when wait, how when long do you out, say he's gonna have it for? Like a year, three months. He said, but now he was pushing for six or nine. Last you know, time he's gonna baby. I'm getting gigs. Well, I'm, everybody's liking it. You know. Well, what he's thinking about is, does he get the tits, film all the videos, then get them removed, then go on tour, or? No, you got to keep the tits. And keep the tits because, for the tour. Because you kind of want to see them in person. Uh, yeah. You right? want to see those babies in person. And you want to see the cleavage. 
And you want to see him in wigs, right. different and, ones maybe. And like what he, yeah, like what would be his outfit on stage? He could have because like, he has. I can see him in a sparkly dress, like maybe a red one. But see, I don't think he's gonna go like femme with it. I think he you should. Know, like it's no, almost yeah. funnier if he's just him. A t-shirt, and be but like, with what? tits. Yeah, exactly. But is he showing his belly? Is he? I, I, mean, I bet he's gonna show it all. You gotta you show got cleavage questions. though. So it For is. Sure. Like, you have to you show, do show cleavage. So, so we'll get into V next. He's got to show. What do you no, think of it as a woman? That woman. There we go. Oh jeez. Woman's perspective. I have to you like it? Represent womankind. Would represent you them suck Steve's nipples? Would you suck him if he allowed you to? Would you? Is that cheating? Would you let her suck her, his tits? For sure. He definitely let me in. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to pass up that opportunity. That one time. One th- what if he's like sign <laughs> I like him? That answer. What if he's like sign him? Like people sign his tits. Right, he can go to like Tommy Lee and have Tommy Lee sign his tip. We're finding <laughs> ideas for him right now, dude. We are. He can I go to send like him this episodes. <laughs> oh, does he watch your stuff? No. <laughs> he said, it, "Okay, but someday we'll try." Did to have I tell him you, on he's here. a busy guy. Did I tell you that he said the nicest thing? Did I tell you how no. he he said no to me? Because I was like, "Hey, uh-uh. can I get on your your podcast?" Uh-uh. I, I didn't tell you about that. No. Uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, "Yeah, bro, I'm trying to get people. It's hard to find, you know, like you know, he's saying like that, like." Big time people, but in a nice way. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I'll get up there one day. Yeah. One day. One you'll day. I told him one day. To be on there. Yeah. I mean, it's, he holds a real high standard for guests. I mean, like. Do they have to have like at least 1 million followers? Not even a follower amount, but just like. It's got to be follower amounts. It's just got to be pretty. Shocking. Big or shocking or, you know, he what wants it? it to do well. He yeah, does dream, right. obviously, to get to a day where you're like Rogan and he, he can have anybody on the show. He can have his neighbor on the show. People are still going to tune in. Rogan's so good. I Rogan's love great. Rogan. I like his podcast I, a lot. I think Rogan's my favorite. Nice. But I love Mike Tyson, too. Oh, nice. Mike Tyson's funny. But I, he's quiet, though, huh? On his show. He's oh, no. more. I don't listen to Tyson that much. And I go in and out of phases with Rogan. Rogan. Rogan's good. I've been liking Lex Friedman a lot lately. You ever listen to him? You just, oh, you just listen to him? Mm-hmm. I like to, yeah. No. You're a visual guy. I mean, I watch podcasts. No, too, no, but. I'm both. I'm just yeah, yeah. I'm, when I see podcasts, I want I want to see them. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the the person. When do you like consume podcasts? <laughs> like uh, I only listen on the plane or like oh let's no see. like if I like a, Christine's on a podcast but uh, she never on a podcast, podcast don't fucking listen to podcasts no I don't so listen if it looks like I don't, I don't know what I'm doing that would be the same actually. Has a podcast, never listens to podcasts. I know, I need that, to do so more homework. This is like that, that garlic spread good. you get on, like with Greek food. Yeah, really yeah. Good. There's an arm, like a really? international grocery store just damn. down the street, and it's it's better than it sounds. Oh, like, damn. Fuck, damn it. Shit. Oh, hot fuck. damn. It's I good. Think, I think for sure on a plane podcast, yeah, because you're yeah, like, yeah. bored, you know? Or like and a, like I'll download yeah. an episode, and then I can't listen to I music, find driving so I'm like forced into it. is better, you know, because you're like, yeah. Trying, to, trying to listen, you know, not driving sometimes a car I'll do it. Aggro. Driving. But then, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. What's Try your What's so your favorite tree. What's your favorite person on Steve's your ride? Do you ever freak out about celebrities? Mm-hmm. Tony Hawk. No way. I'm weird. You met Tony. You, yeah. I'm weird you around Tony Hawk. Multiple times. You're weird around Tony Hawk. Weird yeah, every like, time. I'm just like <laughs> quiet, like in the corner, like, well, what? hey, Tony, like. And then, like, t- Tony Hawk, at the end of the day, is like, all right, like, later, everybody, like, says, I'm like, okay, bye, Tony. And he's like, what? Like, oh, like, I didn't even know you were there. You were so quiet the whole time. You know, it's like, it's, it oh, feels shit. like that, at least, to me. How many times did you hang out with Tony Hawk? There was one major day where we went to his skate park and, like, You skated. went to Tony Hawk's bird place. Yeah, like, where Paradise. he does the three hun- or the 900 in his documentary. Did you, did you stand in there? Did you touch it? Yeah, I was in the half pipe. <laughs> I filmed him in the half pipe a little bit. You filmed bit. Tony Hawk doing the half, and he's still doing it. He's still doing it. I he, think he's really slowed down since his big leg break that happened like a few oh months ago. He slowed down. But yeah, he before that, his so documentary you came Tony out. Too? I have met Tony Hawk. You were there together? Not that time. He but came I to saw him once. House. He came to but what? I had, I had like a moment like that. I was just randomly helping Scott one time, yeah. like fulfilling skateboards or something in the garage like moving merch around and then i'm like looked up i'm like oh it's tony hawk i know he but never said like, oh know. hi tony hawk i did i was like oh hi tony hawk like i couldn't get i, know, I couldn't right? just say tony my mind would not you can't stop. say tony it without didn't, the hot. You i can't. had whatever to reason, go I just full can't. name you know i can't say steve without oh i, mean, I just can't do it it's weird that's, for me a, to that's say steve a power to his point. branding and he he wants it that way doesn't he i'm the hawk that's what i mean come on he flies, fly. he flies. I know it. So yeah, that that one trips me out. If, if it's someone who's like was big to what me, what about Post Malone as a kid? That was like get normal. out of here. 
So hang hey, on, Post Malone. I mean, oh you're like God. you are sitting there like, wow, I know that's how cool is this? Posty, bro, I'd freak out. I'd freak out. I'm a Posty fan. I'm a fan too. I mean, and he's like impossibly cool. He was so kind, so polite. He invited what? us back to his house. We like hung out did, at his house get, for a little you bit. You went to Posty's house? Yeah. What the fuck, bro? It was crazy. <laughs> like the house. Remember during quarantine? What do you mean? He's like in Cali? You know, no, it's in like, Utah. Hi, hon. How was your day at work? I'm like, what? I was fine. What do you do? It's like, oh yeah, just shot. You know, like shot a koozie <laughs> at he Post Malone's m- house. You were doing koozie, of course. Yeah. Well, I drank a Bud Light with him. I was like, I gotta you drink have a to. Bud Light. You have to. Like I was with Steve you anyway. Told him? Like. I, got a I was like, bro, let me get one of these Bud Lights. And I showed him some of my music, too. <laughs> you did? He listened to some of my songs. No way. How did you feel? I don't feel- know if he was just being polite, but he liked them. You, you were there while... I was there, and I said, we're about to leave, but can I just show you a couple songs? And he quick? looked like that? Or he and listened to it? we played it he over... Played. I airdropped it to his phone, and he played it on his speaker. Dude, I... Not as big as, you know, Post Malone, but I showed a music video to Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. And AJ Cart and they liked my stuff. Nice. And I was like, "Are you fucking with me?" I needed some Western stuff, but I was like, "Damn." You make Western stuff? I didn't even yeah. know you make music. Oh, yeah, I, I did, love yeah. that. Do you play guitar or anything? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm right yeah. on. I play banjo I, too. I'm a sucker for some Western ballads. Yeah. I think it's Western. It's like folk Western, punk. It's weird. Yeah, some that stuff, sounds some awesome. Stuff. Yeah, where do where I, can we listen yeah, to that? Yeah, where can we listen? That's not on Spotify yet. Okay, so <laughs> I got a bunch of I got a bunch of songs that are coming out. Yeah, cool. I got a good one I just did called Boom Boom. It's very sexual. We're doing, music, we're doing a music video next week on the beach. Cool. Yeah, that'd be sick. I can't wait to see it. That, you're gonna, yeah. You Let grew up know. listening to a lot of country music? Or you like country music? I did. I started doing country music when my grandpa died. I Because I went to Texas and he died there. And I listened to Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. And mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I got inspired and I just started doing some Western stuff. Mm-hmm. Cool. Before tattoos like this. Uh huh. I was young. So you're young, playing guitar, just doing Western. Before that, were you playing like in punk bands? And yeah, stuff? I was like, doing, I had a punk band back in the days in high school. Uh-huh. So yeah, I was always playing like pop punky stuff. That's yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. Were I just, just made a new pop punk song too called Snakes on a Plane. Dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty sick. But is that out either? No, that, out. Everything is be out, yeah. Everything will be out soon. Everything will be oh. out soon. Yeah, yeah. As Richie the barber. barber. Yeah, it's, it's funny, huh? He I cuts like hair. It. Why is he, why are you going as that? Why don't you <laughs> go with something else? I'm like, <laughs> He's Richie the barber. Like what? Fuck. I think it makes sense. Hey, I can't you call it anything. A- what am I going to call it? Clowning? What the fuck? Clowning. <laughs> clown. Just clowning. It's like it's you clowning. with a cowboy hat. Or like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clowning around. That's good. I got, that's the album. That's what it's called. An album play. cover with where yeah. it's like a classic kind of cheesy country cover. But it's I like, you. I love cheesiness. Same. I love it. We just got a Waylon like Jennings it. record. Are you listening to Waylon Jennings yeah. at all? Yeah. Damn, fuck. he's fantastic. So yeah. good. It's really good. We had no idea. You didn't know? No. Mm, I always knew shit. the name and like it was always on my to-do list. And it's then good I stuff. found that record and I got it and it's, it's a, beautiful. It's a vibe, huh? For mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. So great. Yeah. So nice. You guys so got a lot of cool rec- or you got records over here? Yeah. yeah we fucking, thank you. That's sick. We've had a bit of a hoarding issue. We keep collecting them. It's not them. that many. No, no, I know. Oh, it's it's fun. It's fun to like go thrifting or find them places. It is cool. And I went the other day and I found them. some pants. I was like, I love these pants. I got to get them tailored. Sick. They're like diamond plaid. Uh huh. They're, they're uh, white and black, and they're diamonds. Mm-hmm. But plaid. Does that make sense? Have you seen that? Yeah. What's that pattern called? Clown's tooth. No, no, no. It's like a it's clown a sweater, pants for sure. But like, yes, like, like the sweater. N- like North Carolina. Yeah. Like North Carolina's uh, basketball team has it on their yeah, shorts. I mean, I'm pretty it's like sure the that's diamonds thing. It's like yeah, but clown's imagine the whole pants tooth. of that. Right. Huh. It's like golfing pants. Right. What, but, I, I don't know the name of that pattern. It's not houndstooth. It's not quite. How plaid, do you know it's not houndstooth? Because I know what houndstooth Hound's is, tooth? and houndstooth is different. It's so similar. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Houndstooth is like a jagged thing. This is like a bunch of diamonds. Yeah, the diamonds. I'm not convinced. It's a cool pattern. It's a cool pattern. That's well, sick. Well, I mean, we, diamond should we pattern. look it up right now? What is diamond that? plaids? What is the diamond name plaids. of the diamond plaids? Diamond plaids. Yeah. Diamond plaids. Yeah. <laughs> diamond <Yeah>. plaids. <laughs> <laughs> what else more is bread? Yeah, please help yourself. It was a knife. Yeah, that was it's uh, fun. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh. do you know anything about making bread? No, I didn't until it's very yeast, recently. Right? Is there yeast in it? So we literally have there is yeast in it. So we had a fucking I'll our friend brought us this culture, uh, right? And it's like a, a the mother culture, uh-huh. and you freaking have to feed it water and flour oh, every yeah. two weeks. And then it grows and like it processes baby. the flour, turns it into sugar and al- what? carbon dioxide, whatever. And then you have to take some out, either bake it or get rid of it, and then like keep 
feeding this live thing of fungi. It's no. Still, it's living in our fridge. It's living in our fridge. We have, we have to feed it's it. It's good, but it came from like a live thing. Like it came from stranger things. This is badass. <laughs> and so what? Every I'm two weeks it. we take half of it and make and make a loaf and then yeah, feed, and then the, feed other the other half. half. I feel like I'm on that. What is it? The Argyle. Wing? You were right. Argyle. That's not it. That's. That's not it exactly, but let me see. You're right. Let me see the pattern. I'm wrong. Okay. I'm wrong, wrong. Show me argon. I mean, images. Watch. Or pull a pound suit and see if oh, I was yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. It's this one. I mean, you sounds like a version of argyle. At least is what you got. Or does he mean hound's tooth? No. What's hound's tooth is way off. All right. What's Look hound's? up hound's tooth. Yeah, we need to find the bottom of. Mm-hmm. Hound's tooth. Um, when you make music, are you like producing it yourself? Or are you? I think that's what he means. I can't see it. <laughs> no, I never even know what that. That I would not wear that. I would not wear that. I would not wear that. Ugh. That is not a cool pattern. Gross. That is gross. That shouldn't even be a pattern. Oh shit! I've like, had a cute hound's tooth thing or two I over the years. I would not want to see that on anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I'm oh, sorry. You know what? To each uh, their own. To That's each what their I, own. You know? No, so no. <laughs> you want to outlaw house tooth? <laughs> yeah. House tooth is out. It's out, dude. <laughs> That's so Fuck funny. Fuck that. Um, uh, but okay, so producing music, like you make it yourself, you record it yourself, or no? You go no. to a studio, or you have yeah, a friend. Yeah, my best friend, he's a drummer. He does Sick. it to uh, Temecula, so we do it over there, and we just record. We we did um, books. I did three audio books. I did a story, a uh, book about my life. It's yeah. called uh, Through the Eyes of a Clown. Awesome. It's pretty cool. And then I got Clown Around. It's more like comedy, but funny stories. Okay. And then um, the other one we're working on is uh, uh, the process of being sober and shit like that. Cool. Yeah, just everybody wants to And know. these are full length books. They're just audio. Just audio. Those are tracks. Wow. That's it. Then but did I'm gonna you write them out. Like are you no, reading a script I just or you're fucking just kind of I just did it. Like, I love it. Just went off of it. I mean I had like little you know talking sure. points. Yeah, you know, the chapters. Yeah, and the outline. Puppet. And I just go and, and record it. And then he would edit it if it wasn't wow. like, oh fuck, hold on a second, I had to think about it. Edit, you know. Yeah. How cool. That's wow. pretty cool. So you're yeah, I mean you're like a well you're an industry. I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate the, the hustle. Well, so the dream then is like. Was it a dream? It must be. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The dream. Yeah, he's going for it. <laughs> the dream then is like this whole slew of Richie the Barber yeah. merch. Yeah. Or, you know, just what about like a, a cartoon or a movie or something? I would some do it all. Thing like that. I would do everything. And it's always Richie the Barber. That's my name. So that, that's like the clothing company. That's the, it's Richie the Barber. Well, yeah. Or like, I mean, yeah. No, I have another like line that I'm coming. I have two different lines that aren't dropped, but I'm, you know, like, like my fitness line. Cause I, you know, but that's still Richie the Barber though. So Richie the Barber. Yeah. yeah that's I'll, the do umbrella. Like, I'll do like phrases, you know, like all my, like mother flowers, you know, I have sure say, what's that mother flower, you know, yeah. <laughs> or like a. Gains, baby, gains, you know, do that, like, you know. So these are your catchphrases that you that, say a I don't lot. know, I say, yeah, gains, get those gains, you gotta baby. gotta get yeah, the gains. Get, uh, gains, baby. <laughs> and so your day-to-day, though, now. What? Your day-to-day. Yeah. You're doing, like, Twitch streams. No. Okay, so I'm, I'm killing on TikTok. Fuck yeah. Like, I make, like, what should I say? I mean, I think Talk I'm killing. I made, like, 100 bucks on just live. You go live. I go live on TikTok, I made 100 bucks. Every I just go, go for, live. like, an hour. I'll make food. Like, today I did my hair. And my girl dyed my mustache, so I made like hundred bucks. We just did it for like an hour. So a hundred bucks. What people send you the money, or how does they that work? go live and they give you gifts and like they'll they'll put stuff on you, little emojis, like little hats. Like I don't know. I'll have like at least <laughs> like my average is like a thousand people, like steady. Right. And then sometimes it goes to three thousand. And then every time I'll gain like five hundred new followers. Cool. Because it'll show you like at the end of it when you end it. It will show you like the right the stats. Like, the, the stats, yeah. yeah. Also, I guess yeah. I didn't realize people were getting paid for the lives. No, I didn't even know you could go live on TikTok. I go I'm live sure every can. day on, on sure TikTok can. all the time, but I, I want to go more. I just want to do like like I, go to Disneyland with it. It'd be funny. Right. I think if it was up uh, to Paul, we'd just be mic'd up and going around. I used to do that. I, don't think I used so. to do that with uh, so. with Twitch. I was doing that, and I got I got, it was bad. Yeah, because I was drinking and shit, and I was in a jacuzzi, right. 
And there's a, this Brazilian couple w- were behind us. And there was like, the jacuzzi we have is huge. There's like, you can fit like 20 people in there. Mm-hmm. So we had about five people in there. And all of a sudden, they're fucking in the back of us. And I got banned on Twitch because they were, wow. I mean. They were like just out they're in just public fucking, fucking? Yeah, in the wow. jacuzzi. I was like, what the fuck? And I was all drunk. I was like, damn, are they really doing it? <laughs> I bet that stream got, did pretty well, but you got kicked off. Yeah. But I never got the views as uh, how much you get on, on TikTok. TikTok, you get like the most. It was like 3,000 at a time. And it's just like fucking comments going like crazy. Cool. So that was good. I shaved my beard. I got 6 million off the video of shaving my beard. Because people want to see what's under there. I don't know. I got 6 million views. So I was like, fuck it. Epic. Well, my girl likes it. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm it, growing it back. <laughs> are you like sitting down trying to come up with content? Or you're like, hey, we're about to like no, I just cook. Cut, Let's I, just go live. I'll just man. take my shirt off and cook. I mean, I know, and then just talk shit. But it's bad. You thirst trapping everybody over there. They huh? get mad. Yeah, everybody talks shit. Thirst People trap. talk shit. Ah, yeah, oh, and then you're you're dealing with the haters. I get timed out too on there. So I got. What like, does that mean? Timed out. So like you can't. You didn't know that on on. It's crazy now. On what? What is it? I don't know. I'm not familiar either. So I don't use TikTok really. No, with the, all the platforms, even on. Oh. Like even on a on Instagram too, like you can't really say things anymore. Like if you're if you have a lot of followers, maybe I maybe because it started recently happening. Okay. So like if I if you say some shit right, and then I'm trying to talk shit back on a comment, it will not put it on there. No matter what you say, or if you say like "fuck your mom," you can, I can't put that on there, or I can't say like. Uh, but their comment, like can you come hater, through? I can't put like you, I I don't cuss. I just say you hater. I'm talking shit. I can't talk back to them. It's weird. Hmm. Or if nobody I'm, can, or you're specifically not allowed I, to because they don't, I don't, they know. don't like the way you do it. I don't know. It's weird. So that's my Instagram and it's flagged too. It's at huh. the top. It says warning, you know, there's certain, so, um, they'll take me off live on Instagram and it's like timed out. Same with TikTok. If I, so I get kind of pissed. I'm like, you idiot. Da, da, da. I'll talk back to the you know people and it says bowling and they'll time me out for like a month. It's crazy. And what, what, like, what do you say on TikTok where then you get a timeout? So I'm not, I'm like, yeah, I get pissed. I'm like, shut up, you idiot. You know, you don't know. You know oh, so you're that. talking shit to the, to the viewer. Yeah, there's comments and those, I can only, ha- I can only handle it for like so an hour. you say fuck you guys and you get all pissed. No, I don't, I don't say fuck you. I just, I You just, don't even say anything like vulgar or I mean? try not to cuss. I try not to cuss, no. So you I'll don't even like, cuss. You just get a timeout for being like I'll talk aggressive. back. Yeah, aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. That is bizarre. But Pretty that's, strict. but they're, they're Pretty limiting what parenting. you can say on on social media and it's like I already got my TikTok taken down and I just rebuilt it what did you say that got taken down um, there's a bunch of minors talking to me saying oh I love your video da, da. and then I was saying oh thank you so much which ones do you like and they're like I'm a, I'm a minor don't you know I'm a minor I just said I'm like oh I'm asking you which videos you like what are you talking about <laughs> right. I, didn't, I didn't know your age what the hell the, and then she she uh, had all of her friends or whatever, and they reported me, and then they took it down. Wow. So then, but on Instagram, you can put uh, 18 and up. So I did 18 uh, on there, because I don't want to, you know. Just create. so that, so that well, yeah, because I got happen. my TikTok yeah. took it down or whatever. So now, but you, and then I got flagged for. Fighting with kids has always been a problem for you. It's crazy, yeah. Those pushing kids stuff, yeah. off of yeah. roofs and parking lots. <laughs> yeah. Always well, no, no, he, with kids. He was 18. He was at least 18. He was good. Okay. <laughs> but he so he'd be kid. allowed on your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But, you know, it sucks. That kind of thing. You didn't know about that? All the little people time out for lives or whatever? I never heard about timeouts. I mean, I've heard about yeah. people's channels getting, like, deleted and stuff. You can but get, I've, yeah. You get yeah, paid, too. Yeah, um, suspended and... Yeah, you get suspended. That's what I'm saying. Time, this is timed out. Yeah. And it'll just give the date. Same with um, making money off reels. I got mine taken down for... How do you make money off of reels? I get paid off reels. I don't know. I have no idea, but it just it says cool. on there. Cool. Like it says bonus, and you go to bonus, and it'll say like payouts. So I get you get um, badges on Instagram. Uh huh. So, but I don't get as many on TikTok. So I get from Instagram and then TikTok too. So how much do you make a week, if you don't mind me asking? It fluctuates on yeah. like social media. Is that a, a uh, decent income for you? It's I've just, never made a dime off of like having a social it's media. It's weird presence. because it's, it's going. Foreign. It's weird because it's going up, and then I got to tell my girl like, "Baby, I need to do this," and she's like, "What? I don't know." I'm like, "Baby, this is," and I'm showing her. Look at the look at the stats right here. I just we just made a hundred bucks, and you just did my hair. And she goes, "No way." Okay, go live more. I'm like, "Yeah, I need to go live more." Yeah, I mean, if you're 
Might as well. Yeah. Sure. You remember those Island Boys? They were on all the time. For sure. And I went on live with Island Boy, one of them. Nice. And he was talking mad shit. To you? <laughs> yeah. I put the video on Instagram. That's funny. Yeah, he was talking mad shit on me. We met them. They were actually kind of cool. They're dicks. They were fine. That's cool. Like, uh, I mean, they were <laughs> kind to us. It's kind of a funny thing, that, though. Were they like, on the show or what? They're on Steve O's podcast. Oh, I got to see this shit. Yeah. They are on? They were on. He interviewed him. We interviewed him. Oh, them. fuck. I had to watch that. And, um, watch it. but we liked them. But there's like a, like, I meet, I encounter so many celebrities. They came with you Steve. here? Or you No, we, when we were in Miami, we did it. Oh, yeah. We were on tour. Yeah. But I always meet a celebrity with Steve, like with Steve O. So it's So they're so, they're super, they're, no one's never been not nice to me. That's good. You know, like you'll hear about, like, oh, I heard that guy's a dick. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love the guy. You know, like, I, I love the Island Boys. They were rad. They were so kind. The, yeah, maybe. Now, maybe it's just because yeah. I was with Steve O. Yeah. Maybe not, but it, it's cool. I, I I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's cool or not, but it's an interesting way that I've. <clears throat> he was just talking shit about my tattoos, people. and it's like, yo, bro, you got tattoos on your fucking face, too. So you can't yeah, really. You, you look. And then he was like talking about, like, he just said shit. He's like, do you get do you get fucking girls? Do you, you actually get girls? I'm like, and I almost went and be like, yo, I've been fucking before you even were born. So shut <laughs> the fuck up, you know? Yeah. But I didn't want to. Because I get wanted to. Time out. Yeah. You get timed out. So do they get timeouts and stuff? They probably do too. Yeah. Well, that's it's the terminology scary. Is they it use. Scary, like uh, getting to a place where you depend on Instagram. That's what I'm saying. So money? it's this is what is going on. Like you can't say anything. Like with the the government, it's the government stuff. Even with the podcast, think about. I I believe. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I believe that Joe Rogan got taken out from YouTube to go to shut him up. And they shut him up and he's on Spotify. They paid him a hundred million dollars. Dude, he him? can't say the stuff he's saying that he used to say on YouTube. I agree, but I think that motivated him to want to make the Spotify deal. I don't think anybody forced him to take the Spotify. No, no, deal. they didn't force him, but it, to me, I think it's shutting him up. Like, hey, here's this. So you don't, I don't say, know. His reach you know? is bigger than ever. No, no, it is because he's not saying, he's not. But too, if you would have stayed on YouTube, it wouldn't have worked. No, he's doing. He's doing great. No, he's doing. Really yeah, great. I. I don't know. I just kind of think that the government's trying to shut him up. Maybe you know. I think a probably of, certain people yeah. within like the establishment after the Elon Musk would not stuff, like you know? Joe Rogan and what he does Dolphin. for sure. Yeah, yeah, and like his influence. Yeah, he made a his, lot of mischief during COVID too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. but no, he's vaccines, killing. It. Yeah, right. He was like super against vaccines. No, he wasn't super against vaccines, but he was, was having some people on his show that were very much against vaccines, and he was mm. talking to them and asking them about it. And people thought that was dangerous. Super con- con- original. But I, I, I saw some of those episodes. You know, like. It's a weird thing because like you should be able to look, listen to something and then say, okay, mm. that doesn't make sense. That part makes sense. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like this thing like, oh, that person can't speak because they're afraid. I'm going to believe everything they say <clears throat> Yeah, is weird. It's like we're catering, the, we're dumbing down the whole world because we're scared dumb people are going to not know how to like take some information that's, and leave that's some information true. behind. That's, that's very true, I think. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. All this thing about like dangerous speech, like it's not dangerous if Joe Rogan yeah. says like don't get vaccinated even to me because maybe I'll get vaccinated, maybe I won't. I'm not going to just listen to everything oh, yeah. Joe Rogan says. Do you get so when you get do you get people on here like that that like uh, crazy controversial? What do you guys talk about? It could be in, in the air. Huh? It could be anything. <laughs> Nothing's gotten too controversial. We've talked about the what, on trans ours, athletes personally? before. Uh, you talking about on our show? Yeah, no. On this, this podcast. Guy. On your, I don't no, know. Like, everything, nothing's gotten too gnarly. Yeah. I mean, we've had some deep talks about things, I guess. Abortion, trans athletes. We've covered some of the topics. Oh, so you guys, went, you never, guys go like, deep with the, the stuff, sometimes huh? Sometimes it gets yeah. deep, but if I've never goes felt there. like yeah. really, really terribly in the hot seat, which is As nice. A, yeah. And we've never had perks, like an explosive perks. sort of argument or debate no. or anything think, like that. It's, all, it's always yeah. pretty. That's good. <laughs> you want to have a dark? You want to have an argument? No, no. I'm just saying. Like, I mean, you see from other people's podcasts sometimes. You're like, damn, how do they get that situation? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, well, some you know, people really want that too, though. It's like uh, true, if, yeah. if I start pushing you, and then you start pushing me, then we're gonna uh, get a great clip, and that clip's gonna do pretty well. Oh, they do that. Yeah, but they do. It is funny. The the our clips that have the number one clip we've had is when Paul got so upset. 
and was like you got basically about, yelling uh, about the end about of the Harry Potter movie. The end of the Harry Potter. You were movies. yelling on the, the podcast. I was pissed. I His didn't like it. Neck veins were like bulging. no He was way. heated, and it what? was it was legit like the best performing clip. And I'm like, they do. I mean, if they just want yeah. the drama, they do want. They just want the drama. Drama. They don't want to have a lasting show. What's you that? can't just be digging for the drama all the time. Like I want, <laughs> I want our show to last a long time and just have it be something where we just. And if every now and then I get pissed off about Harry Potter and it does well, then great. What, so you love Harry Potter? No. <laughs> oh I, no! Quite I just I only watched the movies. You only watched the movies. I only saw the movies and just the last movie. The oh. way that whole thing went down. Did you see it? You watch it? I'm sorry. It's fine. I don't care. I did not see it. I don't want your veins popping out. <laughs> it was just the, just the, the ending of the movie. I get more upset, not about Harry Potter in general, but like shit in movies where it's like, that would never fucking happen. You know, like, yeah. or like yeah. people wouldn't, even like it's wizards and stuff. I get it. Like that's <laughs> fine. I can, yeah. I can accept wizards, but like that people would react a certain way or behave a certain way. Like yeah. the character you would, strong, you know, I don't like strong that. opinions about movies. Oh. If I have a qualm with the movie, he'll be like, that's what you couldn't believe about the movie. You know? like, the, yeah, you go, you go, like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just lazy or people yeah. just aren't, it's just not, I don't know. You yeah, know what the you know fuck what was that? Like, come right. on. Yeah. I do the same thing. Sometimes I'm like, I was pissed about this. You know, <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. You get pissed. You're you get a movie pissed. guy. You're a movie guy. He is You're a story movie guy. There you go. We get it. There you go. Some people are like, but it's so It'd good. That would never fucking happen in real life. No way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm anyway. like that. I'm easily entertained. I'm like, yeah, it was, gr- it was good. It was, it was bad. Oh, I know people like that. You, <laughs> every movie. Oh, it's good. You're like, what the? F- <laughs> that was good. What are you I talking mean, about? I don't always. Like, oh, I, yeah, yeah. you know, sometimes I. New Jurassic Park was movies. just bad. Which one? The newest? The newest. Did you see it? I'm so damn it. I about that. It's not good. Are you to see? Okay. There's a new movie that's out called Pearl. What's that? Uh, why it, looks kinda, that? it looks kind of creepy. What is the, it? The premise is they're like in the wilderness. They live like on a farm. Creepy style, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> and um, of course, right? And uh, she wants to be famous. So okay. she's got to do anything she can to be famous. But she lives with her her family and they're in wheelchairs and they're pretty much paralyzed. So she thinks about killing them every day. To become famous, Jesus. Oh. But there's more to it. You got to see the trailer. It's pretty dope. Cool. It looks Pearl. sick. Are Pearl, you yeah. gonna watch like the Jeffrey Dahmer? I don't like that stuff. Like no, everybody, it, it dude, everybody's all about it, and I'm like, dude, like I don't. It, I'm not okay. I just saw this new documentary out on Netflix. I was super stoned, and you know when they show the preview on your thing, and you're like, fuck, no shit. Yeah, and, like, and you get you stuck see. watching it. <laughs> yeah, you dude, can't scroll without watching it. Yeah, I'm like, it's what like, the right. fuck is this? It's his yeah. mother of sin or some shit. Okay. So I was like, no way, no way. And I watched it. That shit was crazy. Um, I'm like, how can this really happen? What's the documentary about? It's a mother, right? And she marries like a. It shows Somebody her in the Mormon church, right? Or no, a yeah, Scientologist. She, she's what Mormon, it was. right? Yeah, yeah. And she grew up Mormon, blah blah. You know, she marries and then she divorced that guy because he ended up molesting um, her son. And she goes, okay. "How dare somebody fucking do that to my son? He should be dead. I either got to go." So she says something like, "She." You hear her voice, and it shows like the Mormon thing. And she goes, "I either want to do go this way, or I'm going to kill him." Either, either way, I want, nobody can ever molest my my son. So then she says, he marries another guy. Then she meets this this fucking guy that made up religion. He died, and but he came back to life. So she goes towards his religion, and then he has like a rating system: your dark spirit or light spirit. So she sees everybody dark spirit, light spirit. She gets her fucking brother to kill her husband, shoots him dead, and then it's like, oh, yeah. And then she takes her kids. You got to see the fucking thing. It's, it's a true story. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to tell you too much, but it's okay. fucked up. It's so bad, dude. Wow. Yeah, that yeah. stuff is like, I don't know. I mean, around this time of year, I have a small, small craving for a little bit of horror, ah. like a little bit of darkness. The Monsters is out by Rob Zombie. But not really. <laughs> Did you watch that? Is that? Nah. I was just texting my friends about it, actually. Is when it you out right up. now? Somebody, I think it's out. One of no, our friends watched it, watch and it. He, he didn't like it. Really? It's the Monsters, the OG Monsters is so good. I though. love it. It's yeah. so good. The um, it, what like, but do you like horror movies and stuff? Like, not anymore. What are things about you that would really surprise people? You know, like I like to read a lot. Okay, you like to read. a is lot. Is that really surprising? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. It, it is in in the fact that like most. Oh, here you go. A lot of people don't read not anymore. Fictional. I don't. Like, you like? I'm not into fictional stories. You like nonfiction. You like learning. If I things. were to read, yeah, I want to learn stuff. Like I want like more. I'm more into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, learning stuff. I, I like, like history. I don't read. 
<laughs> yeah. Can't read, but <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I, uh, I listen <laughs> to like history yeah. podcasts and stuff. Sometimes. I do too. I like, nice. I like history podcasts too. Yeah. I like cool. to listen to stuff. And like, yeah. do people always expect you to like love Dahmer and like scary movies and like yeah, creepy, well, freaky shit. Yeah. That's, I'm like, I'm so. You're a happy clown, not a scary clown. Yeah. I like to be happy. I'm like, I like comedies, duh, you know? Right. And then they, well, I have Halloween all over my arm. Yeah, I saw your Franken. Like I was, sign. I was so into like death and Halloween, but now I'm like, fuck that scary shit. Like now I'm not into that. Like, and I believe that I'm so into like, if you believe in a certain thing and you put all that into you, then it comes out what you seek, you, you know, you'll mm-hmm, find, mm-hmm. you know, you, the law of attraction thing, you put it out there, you're going to get it, you know, mm-hmm. energy. I believe in all that stuff. So I'm like, nope. And you know, I witness different like spirits and ghost stuff. So I'm like, nah, that's, that's pretty creepy, you know? Mm-hmm. Or like aliens I witnessed like an alien before That was really trippy Talk to me about that We'll close with that No The alien story Yeah, yeah Damn. I, you, I do need to know that one That's fucked up What happened No I don't know that's weird. What do you mean you don't <laughs> we're know We're gonna end Was it already time Yeah yeah We're pretty much Damn We're pretty much there We've been going for like An hour 15 minutes Do you normally go for an hour You go for yeah, an, an hour Yeah an hour give or take Yeah that's good yeah so All right, real, real fast, real alien. fast. Back in the days when Obama first went to Los Angeles, I okay. was working at Bull Barbers on Melrose, and we're waiting around, but there's no clients because they closed down all the blocks, you know, the streets and everything. So we're waiting around, and all of a sudden we see all the, the cops and stuff, the SUVs, boom, and they're like, oh, shit, the fucking president, oh, my God, you know, Obama's right there. And then one SUV pulls over, and they both guys walk out, Secret Service guys, and they come in, and the guy's bald, Fucking tall as hell. And he goes, you guys open? I want a haircut. And then he goes, yeah. And we have a rotation, right? You know, walk-ins and stuff. I was the fucking next one in the rotation. Mm-hmm. What are the odds of that? So I'm like, all right, yeah, man. I'll cut your hair, you know? I'm like, a little about the top? He's like, proceed, you know? <laughs> he has sunglasses on and shit. What are you, you going to say? No, no. I, I'm just like So I had a room in the back, so I took him all the way in the back in the room. Okay. I had my little area, the record player and all that stuff. I had cool. bourbon, you know? So I was offering him drinks. He's like, no. I was like, all right, cool. Do you want to pick a record? Normally people pick records. I got a lot of classic stuff in there. He goes, whatever you want. You know, just like a little small talk. So I put the cape on him. I drape him, you know. And then I tell him, can you take off the glasses? I got to straight raise your head, you know. We're going to put a hot towel on you. He goes, and he just takes it off. And I'm like, can you take the earpiece off too? And it's kind of in the way. Takes it off, you know. So I put the hot towel on him, put some music. I think I played some Frank Sinatra or some shit or Dean Martin. Mm-hmm. I'm all, you like this stuff? And he goes, he's just, you know, whatever. So I, I put the shaving cream on and I start shaving. I shaved downwards all the way. So I got to the left side and his eye twitched. So I was like, oh, something wrong with your eye or what? Because I thought I cut him or nicked him because mm. he like kind of bounced like that. Yeah. And he goes, proceed. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I shave. I'm going around his head again. And is he totally bald or he has like a little he's bald. fur? Well, yeah, he's got a stubble, you know. He's, okay, he's he got gets, stubble. He's, he so gets he's his a, head shaved. He gets you know? a section. Yeah, but he's like, you know, okay. he's a pissed off guy. So then I go all the way around to the right and I'm I'm like looking at his eye and I'm thinking, don't fucking do it. If it does some shit, I'm going to flip out, you know. Is he a fucking alien? You know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and he does it. He goes, and you hear that. His the fucking eye like moves like that, and I was like, "Yo, what are you doing with your fucking eyes?" And he goes, "Serious, what do you believe in?" And I was like, "Fuck off, no, fuck off!" And then he just like kind of like almost reads my. Did you see his eyes? You're I saw. His eyes blink, I saw like, like a fucking beginning of Men shape in Black? shifter, bro. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. What, like so his eyes blink from the sides. It blinked. Eyelid? It fucking blinked some weird shit. So I was and like, it made like a. It went like a like a weird sound. Yeah, yeah, like a. I was like, what the fuck? What? And then he's like talking to me about. So then he says, what do you believe? Then yeah. What? And I was what, like, what, what the fuck? No, don't fucking do this to me. I'm like shaking. And then like, he's just like, what do you believe in? You, and then he started saying like, you are not like a man of society. You're not amongst the norm of. And he started going off in this weird fucking, you know, the government shit like that. Uh-huh. He goes, we know what's going on with, you know, we've been watching you. Today. I'm like, fuck off. Like that kind of shit. And, I'm, and then he's like, finish up. Proceed, proceed. So then I start, I got to finish the fucking head shave. So I'm doing this head shave and he's talking about certain things like, you know, and I was like, this is fucking terrifying. And then at the, at the end, he went to shake my hand and he pretty much said, you know, you're going to regret it if you don't shake my hand. So I, I shook his hand and then he left, put his glasses on. Took off. I think it's fucking alien, bro. 
Look at, look at <laughs> I think it's an alien, dude. Look at him. Could be. I mean, it? it could be. So you don't believe in aliens at all. I do believe in aliens. Okay, why? Why do I believe in aliens? Yeah, why? Well, I mean, I've <laughs> listened to a lot of. Aside from just the like statistical, you met Joe like, Rogan. I didn't meet Joe Rogan. Is oh. that what you said? No, I never okay. met Joe Rogan. Um, but I've listened to a lot of podcasts with like Bob Lazar and David Fravor, and like I, I'm I'm pretty on board with everything everyone is saying there. Yeah, but none of those people are saying <laughs> there's aliens like oh like amongst society? walking around in the Secret Service. Yeah, bro, for reals. How did, how, without the blinking, though, there's closer, nothing weird you know? about it. He made a weird sound with his eyes. He made a weird sound with his eyes. He's an alien, bro. We have intuitions for a reason, Paul. I'm not saying he's for we sure not an alien. It. Dude, he this was, is just I not shaved an alien, bro. I did. And he was clairvoyant. He says himself clairvoyant. Like, what do you say clairvoyant? He, what do you mean? Like, he said, he, like, knew. He knew, like, I lived on Wilton Street back then. He knew, like, certain things. He knew that I had a family of, um, was a, yeah, I have three or two brothers, mm-hmm. mom, dad. He said that. He even said, You have a dog, like that. But he's he, in the Secret Service. I mean, they maybe just what know the f- shit about Dude, him. he's an alien, bro. And he knew he knew my <laughs> age and he knew, he knew a lot of shit. Like, how, what? You just do research and then you just drive in and be like, I'm going to pick that barber. He didn't even say Richie. It yeah, could have uh-huh. been anybody. You're right. It could have been anybody. Hmm. It's weird. And he maybe he's say, an alien. Maybe he is an alien. He, but he knew my family and he knew their names and everything. That's fucking scary. That's pretty wild. Because I was like, what? No. And that's not on the internet. I, don't, I mean, well, maybe, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's six, cool. Maybe he is an alien. I, I'm not trying to. I'm not saying been, he's got, for sure It not. could have an ear. Well, his earpiece wasn't in yet. Because I was right. thinking. I mean, uh, he could have done a lot of research on you and wanted to intimidate you. Yeah, but, but why? I blinked. But why? But that's, yeah, that's a lot of effort. Yeah, why? A lot why, of effort though? just to fuck with you. Him saying, like, we've been watching you. Maybe he says that to everyone because it's just hilarious as secret agents. Dude, this to, guy like, was like dead serious. Like, his face was just right. like, no smiling or whatsoever. He looked like an alien, bro. He was an alien, man. I swear. I'm telling you. He's there amongst us. You could I, be alien. I don't know. You're right. I, could. I literally, I ask myself you're that right. like every other day. Like, if I'm an alien, what if, oh, is he fucking alien? <laughs> Dude, you could be an alien. No, no, I'm I could. Kidding. I probably cut a bunch <laughs> of aliens. You, you're talking. You could be a fucking alien. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What if I the didn't jokes know? on you? I'm the what if I didn't alien. know it was an alien? Shit. Would you know? Yeah, maybe. Would you know? know? I think you would know. You Unless know. we're all aliens and we don't know. You know, like I maybe. A hundred thousand years you ago, watch Mars alien, exploded, aliens? and we we ended up here. Really? Do well, you watch exploded. Ancient Aliens or no? Uh, I've seen it. Like yeah, when it first came out, I love it. It was like groundbreaking television. When it first I came out, it. I was like, oh, "What the fuck?" Like, have you guys seen fucking Ancient Aliens? Like, yeah, man. It wasn't like a joke. It was like it is fucking crazy. What do you but think? Yeah, man? I believe in a lot of that stuff, like Graham Hancock shit. Damn, I, I like it. My grandpa was in the Air Force, and he it wasn't he wasn't sent to fly out, but they found an like UFO, See, and a couple did. guys from his base were sent to follow it in their aircrafts and like chased it for a while. As your long grand, as they could. your grandpa did it. In the My desert. grandpa yeah. was on the ground the listening aliens. on the radio as like his. You know, buddies were out there trying to chase it. I'm telling you, I, I've gotten a lot of weird signs. A lot. Weird shift. That's just one of them. Yeah. But, I, I, yeah I mean, I'm a, I'm a believer. And like, uh, I what's think. The, what's this um, squid octopus connection to space? They've like said something that's like. I didn't hear about that. There's a certain, like, I think it's the structure of their brain that's not seen in what? any other animal on Earth. There's like something really unique. I think it's just the in squid. squid. What? And it's like, I've heard that people think it's like alien DNA because it just doesn't resemble or kind no of follow way. the same patterns. I've heard yeah, something like that. Like, it's so go down a rabbit hole. I haven't looked into yeah. it I'm that just saying, much, bro. but it's a there tough might be rabbit hole there. to go, go down. But like listening to, especially Bob Lazar on like Rogan's podcast. So Bob Lazar is a guy who claimed I worked at Area 51 mm-hmm. and I've seen an alien spaceship. I worked on an alien spaceship. They had me studying it, trying to reverse the technology. It was like this anti-gravity technology. And remember that creepy, that, that paw thing or the weird, the hand thing. What's the, the hand bones. thing? The bones. Remember he said he saw it? He said he saw like that, a figure once. No, for the, to enter. Like it was the you technology. Your, and it was like a small hand or something No, like it was that? like the bones were long. Oh. So, remember? Yes. I don't you know. I, I forgot that. They showed that on the Rogan. But, um... But so he talked about kind of the way they move and the way the technology works. And then 
Now, like the Navy has tracked what they say is like, we don't know what it is. The Navy pilot has gone on like multiple shows saying like it's, it did crazy, crazy, like anti-gravity maneuvers. Like it's alien or it's like, if it's us, it's like shit. I've just never heard of it, been told about. But anyway, the way he described it is exactly what Bob Lazar has been saying since like the eighties. Like it really like, and yeah, anyway, but I, I believe a lot of that shit. Sam, bro. But I think a lot of times though, people go, oh my God. That seems an alien. And it isn't always. Dude, I think that this FBI guy, or not, he's not FBI, or Secret Service. Yeah. He's for sure, he was an alien. That's, I'm just saying. I, I mean, I've I cut a lot of people's hair, and that one was probably the, That's he's the, up there in the story, yeah. Yeah. All I know is if your gut was telling you something was otherworldly, I mean, he asked me no what I believe in. I was like, oh, it. shit, dude. You know what I mean? He was asking me some weird stuff. I'm not saying he wasn't. Maybe he was. I hope he was. I ain't clowning. Hey. <laughs> That's a real story. That's a real story, bro. <laughs> You're not clowning me now. I ain't clowning <laughs> out, man. You're waiting for the, he's fucking with me. He's still fucking no, with me. No, no, no. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> yeah, man. It's well, fucking weird. A. Thanks for doing the show, Richie. This yeah, was fucking fun. Thank you, bro. Yeah. All the way up from do the you, OC. Do you edit it or you just let it go? Unless you said something you regret, I don't nah. cut anything out. I just go for it. Yeah. I, my, one of my buddies said, do you ever like, you should stop and think about what your question is for a while. I'm all, dude, it would take forever. <laughs> but I stopped to think about, right? Do you ever? Well, like, you just go for answer it. to the question? Yeah, yeah. Like, Sometimes if you're getting, if you, the more you, you think about it, the more it's, it's, saying, the worse it is. Unless just, it's a, a really stumping question. I mean, like, fuck. Right, in yeah. general, yeah. Right. Is it good to think well. before you speak? Yes. Does it make for the most interesting clips on our podcast? No. So <laughs> oh I don't God. recommend it. Oh, to like actually think about the questions? I mean, just really I, give it a lot of ideally just flow, people do that. In the but. beginning I did. I was just like, <laughs> uh, you know, short answers. But then now I'm like, fine, let's just shit it out. Yeah, Whatever. that's, I, I think it's better. Yeah. Well, and we try not to just like interview, like question, answer, question, uh, answer. Yeah. It's more of a chat, I think. Chats are way better. Chats are better. Podcast is the future. Yeah. A lot of people, I mean, for my lives, they'll just, they'll just put it and they'll listen to it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, really? They're like, oh, yeah. They just want to listen to shit mm -hmm. or voice or something. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Uh, what, podcast to listen yeah. to? Lately, it's been Lex Friedman. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I got to check it out, huh? Yeah, he's cool. He's yeah. like an MIT professor. He has, Damn. he has really, he's like a friend of Joe Rogan. I saw him on Rogan's podcast. Is then, he the guy with the beard and the suits? No, he, but he does wear a suit, but he looks younger. He's like, oh, he's younger. Age. Yeah, he's okay. a younger looking guy. Um, but he interviews really interesting people and he mm. just like has a good way of asking That's good. good, curious questions. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like him a lot. Did There's you ever so listen podcasts. to Folklore? Kind of got into I gotta write one. these down. I should check them out. Huh? That it's folklore. Like, That's a podcast. Kind of like spooky stories, but with a history lens of mm. like weird things that have happened. Do you guys have a lot of spooky time. stories up here? Are people talking about spooky? We don't get that like many spooky stand. stories, but Halloween is coming up. I know it is spooky wow. season. We should figure out which episode is going to drop on Halloween. Too bad it's not this one, but <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good. It'd be good. You know, we got clowns on the coffee. So what is this? Yeah. You didn't. You didn't put Packs out your of coffee, man. Do you it always really do it? Great. You do a shout out or you just do a little thing? Yeah, well, we're going to shoot an in. intro. Oh, okay. And we say, you know, yeah. we'll use the promo code and now let's get into the episode. That's with how you do it. Yeah, yeah, and see. then we just, but that way when Let we're here, rip. we just we just go That's in. cool, man. It'll yeah. just, it happens sometimes. It's easy. Um, all right. Anyway, thank you for doing this. Love you, bro. Appreciate you. Love you too, man. So nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Can't wait to hear your music you have coming out. Yeah. Richie the Barber on Instagram. Everything's Richie the Barber. Everything's Richie the Barber. Get your haircut. Google that no shit. COVID hair allowed. It's two <laughs> years fucking later. Let's go. Cut it. Get yeah. that shit cut. Get it cut. Yeah. If you're in LA, they can hit you up and you'll come cut their hair. Yeah, no? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Do it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Get out, let me in.